why we came this No, we're here to investigate Lord Soth because he went the direction towards the northern ways, and so we went this way <laughs> to there the north. Go. There we, we go. got off land because of a massive storm, and now we sailed off course. If any, if if anywhere, I think he's going to be disguised here. This this man absolutely just like summed it up in like three sentences or less. That is, <laughs> I, I can't even be mad at that man. <laughs> do, you see this, do you see this whole thing here, man? We're most definitely going to have to go through the Eastern Maze, fight some guys in uh High Hut, High Hunt, and go to Sky's Tears. That, that's maybe I mean, maybe stop so... by the Circle of Seas. Uh. What would you prefer, the sorcerer or the ranger? Let's be honest. The ranger. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, got, I've got to play it, so, you know, the choice is yours. Uh, let me... We are again, fuck. Let me look at my character. I don't know what my character is. <laughs> no, we're level... Level six, I think I'm Ranger. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna. Someone roll me a D four real quick. I'm doing it. Thank you. Oh, Exodus, give me a. Hey. I'm gonna see you with the first one, and I'm gonna see you give me a three as an Aladrin. That's gonna give me. Uh, my face step number three spring uh, okay nice cool so uh, Boralis and I'm going to say Melano as well they're both spring so yeah as Tipler did give us that information prior there um Lord Soth, after having attacked Calaman and raised the dead, kind of had the dead hinting at you that he was headed up this way to the northern wastes, being dragged to a city that no one quite understood. Name not quite there for people. So, they had immediately set forth. <laughs> you were, big air quotes, exiled because certain people are fucking assholes. So, you know, make them feel good, but in actuality, you now can travel as you were, unimpeded, with zero bureaucracy. Took a moment for that one, but the words are coming to me slowly. You then got on a ship chartered by uh, Exus's old friends, where he's met a human man named Clifton. Uh, the surprising thing about Clifton was he could heal. People were a little confused by that one, but, you know, things have happened down south recently. Since then, you then took a one-day journey and ripped the ass out of it by taking four days to complete it. And you ended up here, somewhere in the northern wastes. So, I am going to ask for, firstly... I'm going to ask Revel to roll me a d10. Gotcha. That should be six. That should be eight. So, Revel, Revel. As you are looking around, from where you are, as the ship has crashed in these spire like areas, you notice that. What you see are channels carved out. You also notice that water runs through them heavily. Almost like rivers. You can tell that by the looks of it, they seem to dry and clear for the most part. Let's just look around. Oof, we are a good section away from everything right right yeah so where the boat seems to be beached a little as everyone kind of looks around as Darek comes out pushing on the far gab 
asking for responses. There's a few other military men come out. As everyone looks. Captain Rainbow Beard kind of turns to us. The wash is high today. You may want to uh, travel up on high. I don't quite know where you are headed throughout, but we'll be here, and we'll try to uh, we'll try to meet with your crew eventually. Dark looks. We were. Yes, we were trying to get to the edge, but it's clearly we're not getting there anytime soon. Ah, uh, the the rest of the army is waiting for us. I will follow your lead behind with what we have, but yous are going to have to um, navigate this vast area. He's going to look around the yellow orange sandstone is a lot deeper in colour as you can tell that it's soaked right through. The sun beats down heavily. It's almost blinding whenever it hits the water. It's a beautiful scene, however, it's not the type of place you want to find yourself in. Um, I ask, or, uh, Exodus, he would approach uh, the captain, Captain Ramblebeard, and he would say, can my set of astrological tools survive the crash? If you have any. Yeah, to read the you mean a sextant? Uh, spyglass? Sextant. Uh, oh, Celia, I think that's what is used for to track this movement of the stars and all that after globe. Yeah, I think I <clears throat> Man, you're so lucky I played RuneScape. <laughs> uh... Yes, we have a few. Uh, okay. Just take mine. It's gonna hand you this old ass looking thing. It's seen some time. It's weathered, but it's reliable. Mm. Uh, we have, we have a map of the. Uh, we're given a map. Uh, yeah. Essentially, what you have here in front of you would be the map you have. Um, however, you know, where you are going, mystery. Was to, once they have a time to rest and it's nighttime, get an idea of where they're going and have a, um, but a set location, right? They, they would say, uh, let's say they want to meet in rendezvous. Let's say okay. old yeah. bone caves or wherever we want to eat, we all could travel separate directions or meet up wherever and use the aircraft tools to lead the way. You've done a lot of cutting out there. Can you simplify it down for me a bit? Um, we split up in separate directions, as was what was said, and we use the star tools to meet up at a later location together. If anything goes wrong or if we need to meet up somewhere in a hurry, we uh, go to a set rendezvous point that we can access via the star tools. Are you suggesting we split up? No, I thought that was said that we were... I thought that was said that we were splitting up. No, I'm more that you were just taking the lead. Oh, okay, then yeah, no, I'm being stupid. I thought we were... Um, they, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's right. Must have heard I, I could, I pro probably on me, I definitely could have worded everything better. 
you're good, you're good. Uh, look confused for a second. For, oh, I heard something and then you... Yeah, uh, these will still be useful. Thank you for traversing this land to find out where exactly we are. This here is he. He you know, looks round, gets an idea. See if he can get a, a compass off of him. Yeah. He's kind of. Sure. Hands over a compass, kind of. We've got spares. Take him. Awesome. Hands over this nice little brass looking compass. There's clearly been some detail that's scratched and weathered with time, but it is functional for the most part. It's kind of watch as it does sway a little as you stand unevenly. So, uh, where are we going? Well, <clears throat> this place. I don't think anybody has ever had a uh, a good. Indication of where they thought the where are we heading? The city of uh, the, the unnamed city or the city of no names? City, city of lost, lost names. names. City of I don't think lost. anyone's ever been able to tell us where they think it is, other than up north in the northern wastes. So, kind of Stop a crap. Maybe hey, we start heading. Uh, well, it's going to be difficult traversing. These gullies <clears throat> and washouts. So we try to make a westerly north, west northwesterly direction as best we can. Oh, that's my my suggestion. Oh fuck! Finally off that bus. <laughs> that motherfucker was riding the back of this minivan and it kept honking. This just. This is not going to move any faster, this traffic. <laughs> so, do you want... Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What happened? He moved Someone it to something. <laughs> they moved it to something. I don't know what's going on. Let's... I suggest we go... So... I need to ask that's this way. way. Which, uh, how are you traveling? Uh, at which pace? Well, a fast, normal, or slow pace? Well, I try to make a normal pace, but we'll see how I that think goes. A normal out. pace would be, we, 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 yeah, I want to try a normal pace as well. I think we should try a slow pace because we do not know the dangers of this land and you cannot stealth at a, fat, a normal pace. Right? Are we, uh, are, we, um, are we stocked up on water? Is the ranger going to be out front? He's going to be our point man? Uh, the ranger could be the point man if you want the ranger to be the point man. <clears throat> what do we got left? I'm trying to figure out who's not dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Melano, is, Melano will be following back up with the army at any given we time. We have a, a rogue swashbuckler also, so either one of those I think would be a good point, man. Oh god, what an answer. Baralis will anyway. point out that he is, um, he is very wise in the way of the surviving. He has a... One could argue that he's a very proficient survivalist. Correct. Ah, interesting. How is he with uh, Wasteland versus uh, what's his favorite? Uh, um, how is he in Wasteland? With that, let me check. Um, <clears throat> Baralis would like to point out that he is not in fact a natural explorer but a deft explorer instead and therefore equal upon all terrain okay well, sounds like a great point man yes 
You try to travel slow and quiet. Okay, then. I will let you oh, know right oh. now. A slow pace oh. is one, one mile per hour at a total of nine hours a day, but stealth is allowed. Ste stealth is good. Stealth can happen. Everybody remember their hand signals? Um. Um. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't... Um. We'll just say... Um. Uh, we'll just say... <laughs> oh. That uh, question Clifton answered itself. Clifton asked about hand signals. Fucking dead. Clifton asked for a quick rundown. I'll just give him the ones for... Uh, stop, freeze, pick cover. And we'll, we'll let it go at that for now. For Alice, we'll Alrighty. Put, can raise a palm thank up. You, thank you. I know stop is a fist. You can raise a palm up to get everybody to go down and a fist to stop and two fingers pointed forward to move expeditiously. Sounds good. That'll, that'll get us for now. Yeah, I think we should slow pace for like maybe two or three hours, see what type of wildlife we can observe and then we go to a normal pace if we judge it so yeah. uh, good su good suggestion as you um, head on out making your pardon me uh, Mr. Scottish hello hi uh, I am on 21% on my phone yep Um, I am to give you an idea, I am roughly outside of my neighborhood, so it won't be a very long bus ride. However, the uh, the bus ain't going to get back here to the depot for another 21 minutes. So in short, um, I can be home at 3, oh, excuse me, by 4. But I won't be able to stay on the call much longer and still have a phone to use in case of emergency. That's all right. Uh, I can play the cleric until we come back because I am a... Uh... I am a cleric player. <laughs> Alrighty, be generous with the heals if they need it. That they do. And be merciless <laughs> with combat. Alright. I try. I'll, so I'll, I'll hopefully see y'all soon. I've got. I can't remember from two weeks ago. I'll carry over carry over damage. Was that from the boat ride? Um. Yeah, that'd be from the boat ride. However, it has yeah. also been a new day since. All right. If anybody needs any quick healing, um, I would. That's my last act before we leave. And I asked if anybody has any anything they need to patch up before the journey can before the journey continues. Revel does need Depends healing. Depends on if he's saying we're getting a long rest right now or not. Yeah, long long rest since then. As you have okay. to be prepared. Okay. Okay, we've had a long rest. So it's because I'm looking at Baralis's sheet. Baralis wasn't here last week, so I was like, Ugh, his sheet has fuck all on it. But don't worry. All right. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. As you start to move through the area, it's warm. It's damp. It's horrible. By all other accounts, nothing about this place is fun. You would probably a better place if it wasn't so damn wet you look around you hear the squawking of birds in the sky you hear the rushing of the water below so you do however everything seems to be going quite well you are slowly making your way around Taking a look. Seven. Nice. <laughs> These are. The. It's alright. I'm using these. I'm using these survival rolls to roll on a d20 table. Uh, uh, why do I need you? What's that, sorry? Why is my name US? Everyone is US, as in us, you are this little dot. The track where you are. Ah. Uh, Alright. Just 
move through. Use notice the army slowly lagging behind a fair bit. However, your time is roughly uneventful. As you pass by, looking through, the wash in and of itself is rather, you know, dull. You don't seem to get caught up in anything. As it is, however, a slow pace of march to watch doesn't necessarily get you very far that day. As the hot, dry sun starts to slowly vanish and the humidity that rose starts to subside. And the desert day becomes the desert night. As he's all camp up through for the night. The night itself filled with its own weird and wonderful terrors. As you hear the flapping of wings, paranoia inducing flapping of wings, given what you've heard before. And as you look up, you see rather small dragonelles flying around. Very obviously dragonelles, far too thin and too close to be anything else. <clears throat> they seem to take heedance with you. However, the place for the most part is quiet, however. No inclination of the dragon army around. to knock a ration off of the sheets. You guys brought rations? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, did, were, were we going to stock up on rations on the ship? I think you already dead, mate. I only have three rations. <laughs> Looks like someone's gonna have to do some hunting at night. Yeah. <laughs> On the second day of travel, having travelled nine miles, um, uh, who did I ask to roll a d10 first time? It was Jalen, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Uh, John, can I have a d10? Okay, and today's method of travel is you just look around, <laughs> gaining insight into the land. The flooding not subsided from the nights before. The gullies akin to rivers more than channels. The wash is once again a high wash. How do you travel today? I say a normal pace. Yeah. Um I'd say a normal pace too. I gotta ask a question though. Yeah, yeah. Uh since uh Exodus was talking about the wildlife, uh would they find anything like droppings of a large creature or something that might uh allude to the size of the wildlife here? Any tracks or markings? Uh give me a perception check. All right. Burgers. It's a six, yeah, no. Flash, Wait, no. You saw dragon elves. Okay. You saw dragon elves. And okay. you have had an encounter with them before. So you saw how quickly and effortlessly a dragon elf was able to pick up fame. Therefore, it stands to reason anything out here is probably going to be a bit more on the um, bigger side. <laughs> yeah, right. Camera has fallen. So, your second day of travel, you say you are making this at a normal pace. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Heading in the same direction? Oh, uh, why not? Then I, I assume we're heading to, to like, here-ish. As Morales will kind of look round and offer to lead the way if someone else doesn't want to. He got this. Yeah. Morales kind of takes a big look in and a deep breath. He nods away. Whilst coming to grips with this particular area, it is odd. You know, he's never really been here before. None of us have. As you start to move on through your first set of gullies and running through, everything here is harsh. Um, should I... Please have a D4. Dang it. A D4, you said? Juan D4. Too slow. Ah, fuck, I was too slow. Shit. Rebel. (laughs) These are. Walking around, you hear the noises. These rather odd shouts and scrags, craggles. It pops. Very clearly. Dragonelles. These are, however, walking about, looking. Take my time because this is the one map I didn't fucking create like an absolute fucking genius. Uh, or did I create that? Ah! Did you hear them first and foremost? The screeching and screeing of the Dragonelles. I am going to ask everyone here to make me a nice dexterity save as these Dragonelles come swooping down, clad in armor. And I saving throw? Saving throw, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be one of them days, huh? <laughs> And I'm then gonna make a map. I'm gonna, you know, grab a map. And one. This is all swoop. Uh, Renard, you get the brunt end of it, unfortunately. As everyone ducks down. You, however, um, you duck too hard. And as you do, everyone starts to position as the dragon elves start to land, as the dust kicks up, everyone scatters, and you, lying there prone in the ground, can't quite get up. So, everyone else, bar Baralis, because he also needs to make the save, because I'm an idiot. Cool. And uh, also Clifton, because I'm playing two people. Sweet. Uh, so, Melano is with the army. I'm going to take my... No, that's you, wrong person. I'm going to take you and myself. We are here. No, not that. Oh my goodness gracious me. So, everyone else, um, yeah, position yourselves. Uh, on which side of the... Uh, you're prone, so we'll go... The prone people go with the majority, shall we say. Everyone else can no, against no, that, no. you know. It's almost like gotcha. a W shape, we'll say. Are we only... We're going okay. to enter combat. However, okay. um, 
the people who made the save get to position. Kind of position anywhere, anywhere, if you will. Oh, anywhere. Yeah. I like this place over here. I mean, 55 foot spread between it ain't much. Given you, know, <laughs> six, given, you know, each hex is six miles, what's 50 foot? So I think there's like a thousand five hundred foot in a mile or something. I don't know. How did five thousand two hundred eighty feet in a mile? Oh, I stand corrected. Sixteen hundred meters. Where exactly are they coming from? They are swooping. I've got them placed, predetermined. Hands up! I'm just changing the music. I'm letting well. you go wherever. As you can see, what are in the sky? They are swarming down and corkscrewing down. We'll see. Then it would be better for us to have more land, like over here in the middle. But <clears throat> I'll be right here. Uh, I'll remind you what you're fighting, just in case. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, they also have raiders. Amazing. How many? Uh, three dragon elves, three raiders. Don't worry, I'm playing two characters and all the NPCs here, right? I'm fucked. <laughs> so, uh, Exodus, you good there? Um, yeah, what's what's wrong? No, I'm, I'm just making sure that you're solidified where you are. Oh, yeah, no, he's, um, he, he would be quote-unquote hiding behind uh, the skeletal remains. It's just something he's just drawn to cover. Yep. Revel, you um, good? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good, good. Then, uh, I'm gonna ask everybody to roll initiative. I just put one A every island, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm not cruel. What? The, nothing is mounted to nothing. Oh. Do the clean up. So I am cleaning everyone's tokens because you apparently are still linked to the fucking boat. So it might slow down momentarily. And then I... Hey, you can take it. <laughs> a roll Morales. A roll Clifton. You can take the people off the boat, but you can't take the boat off the people. <laughs> and then I roll our death. So, uh, Renard, Clifton, just both prone. Uh, start things off right with, uh, say right, as right as things can be when you start with Revel. Okay, um, let's see. Well, see, so you're gonna look around this cracked land at the top. The water, not in the map, but the water is absolutely filling the gullied valley there. It is a very considerably deep drop. It's about 50 foot, but you know, that's on a dry day. Considerably right. less and also much less painful. I got 150 feet to play with. He's about 49, 52 away from me. Oh, uh, 20 foot sphere. Ooh, not right there, of course. 20 foot sphere. There's an, is there anywhere I can hit that wouldn't be hitting people? I think you're looking at another spell there then. <laughs> uh, what spell are you looking at? Fireball. Ah. Should have figured. <laughs> Uh, fireball uh, within 150 foot of you in a 20 foot sphere. Um, 
That's happening. Um, Oi. That's happening to everyone the, there. Yeah, isn't the dragon now in the air? What's that? Sorry, Matt? Isn't it in the air still? It's in there, but it's in the air like maybe 10 foot. Oh, uh, okay. And it, it descending, so it would be hit with a fireball. Um, just, you know, you're all going to be hit with a fireball if it's there. Uh, can you leave that uh, circle? Uh, yeah, I'm a circle of friend all. Boom. Okay. Let's look at another spell. Uh, oh, think... why not? I mean, oh, wait. You, you, can hit, you, you can hit the other ones just fine. I could. 55 to the one with Boralis and 140 to the one in the far end. And you said the dragon's still up, up flying right now? 10 foot. However, they'd still get hit in uh, Fireball because 20 foot by 20 foot. Mm -hmm. What if he explodes at 10 feet over top of them? Oh, wait, there's, there, was, there was something, there was something, there was something. Oh, God, yes. Hold Go on. Round out so it doesn't hit me or the others. No, I got something better. Forgot about that. <laughs> I wanted to do this for so long. One sec. What was the demon's name? A main? No, it was a dretch. No. A dissel wretch? My brother in Jehovah, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to find what was this thing called? It wasn't an abyssal chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the thing. No, <laughs> <clears throat> Fun fact, um, Mostly... had, had you taken the other path and descent to Avernus, you would have encountered the Abyssal Chicken. Done, yeah, done. Right. <laughs> that is dumb as fuck. Okay. Uh, a Cackler, is that what that was? Yes, a it was. Cackler? Yeah. Can they fly? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Mm. Give me a second. look like they have a... Doesn't look like they have a flight speed. Spell it. C A C K L E R. Cackler. Cackler. Fiend, <laughs> demon, uh, chaotic, Iveru. Uh, doesn't look like they fly. Yeah, speed, no, it's speed 30 walking. It looks like they should. They have legs? Ew. God forbid someone <laughs> with legs, guys. They look like the uh, the flying heads from Doom. Lost souls. Ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. Uh, I summon four of those. You're gonna you're gonna summon four cacklers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can also, I want to see these things myself. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> that doesn't look like a lost soul, that looks like a baron of hell. Does it? Like I have, I've, I've doom plastered on my, my wrist here. <laughs> well, the picture that I saw, one sec, let me see what this thing looks like. Can I it could easily... Baron of hell mixed with a pinky. Mixed with a pinky. I'm trigger ownership. Uh, oh, wow. Jay, you're summoning how many of these bastards? Four. Four? Oh, shit. Eight demons of CR4. Uh, are you sure? Hmm? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive it's four because they're, um, they're one slash two, ah. half a CR, right? I'm supposed to pick these. <laughs> You're supposed to pick these. Yeah, don't worry. You know well, how, they're you know the how only, nice I am. They're the only fiends that are at that CR that I can summon four of. No, the DM chooses the demons such as whatever they are, but don't worry. Uh, got four of them there in front of you. You should be able to access their tokens. You just kind of watch as Revel does some 
mad shit. And she does. No. So that's good. You know, demons. I like the part where it says they're hostile to all creatures, including you. <laughs> hmm? I like the part where it says they're hostile to all creatures, including you, and will attack the nearest person. No, they shouldn't be hostile to me. That's stupid. The demons are oh. hostile to all creatures, including you. Roll an issue for the summoned demons as a group, which has its own turn. The demons pursue and attack the nearest non-demons to the best of their ability. As part of the casting the spell, you can form a circle on the ground that uses blood. Ah, oh, you were... You were not smart. That's I've right. used this. I've used this before. Is this not the right spell? This is Quisates are just fucking stupid. Uh, these guys, not as stupid. Uh, for everyone, I, question. Yeah, I'm saying I've used this, and they have been loyal to me. I don't know what. Because Quisates are stupid, and they'll do what they're told. That's why Crusades make summons. Okay. So these bad so boys maybe, here, they rolled a maybe, five. Maybe I don't want to summon those. What's well, a bit late now? Oh. Initiative oh. is five. So they roll, you know, you they roll initiative separately as a group. Uh, so. They rolled a five. <laughs> They're at the very bottom of the initiative. Who knows? Maybe you won't even be concentrating on the spell at that point. Uh, wish to do anything else with your turn there, mate? Um, maybe move. Yeah, I think I, I think I want to not get that hit. Why wanted him? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, see, uh, yeah, like you, I think you get to pick where they were. I just put them down there. Oh, or you to okay. move. Because I don't know where you're that walking. Make, that makes it a little better. Um, 60 foot. Within 60 foot? Yep, so... Um, they can get over to where Baralis was. Yeah, I'll put them over here. Where... In between the Dragonel and the Rider and Baralis. Not in between, but like on the far side. So then I do hmm. the... Quicky math here. Uh, so that's 65. He's within, so. It's gonna move them all within 60. Boom, 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 boom. He's gonna. Oh, he watches these little fuckers come to life. Then it's announced his turn. I guess not. Alright. If, if we wanted to, how would we get to the other side here? A jump. Oh, okay. A jump or anything to give you a, you know, a flyover or such. Um, alternatively, rope and Boralus and strength checks. Mm -hmm. However, as it were, right now the Dragonel comes down with its raider. As it does, coming down, burning five foot of its movement. You know, this time it's 15. It's gonna hear the screeching of the dragon L. It's got molly attack. Cute. You're gonna make its first attack against Clifton. I need to remember that name. Clifton. Clifton! 10 will fucking miss. You're gonna watch it again. Brings in again with the tail for. Renard. Uh, wow, fuck me. Alright, the rolls into my side tonight, guys. That was a 10, a 9, a 6 for a nat 1, and an 8. And that was with advantage. <laughs> the officer kind of comes down, does a very oh so familiar move. He's going to watch as he's spinning the lance in his hand. He has will walk up to Exodus. The name I was forgetting. My sneaky boy. And will spunk ya. Does that hit? 16 just hits. Uh, uh, I will use a shield. 
Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, I will use shield. Mess again. Yes. Brings it in, you know, watch it bounces off, kind of spins it round once more to come in for a second jab. Your AC is now 20, correct? Yep, until I think the end of my next turn, which is next round. End of your next turn. So it'll, it'll do you for this whole initiative until, you know, bong bong, you get your reaction back. That's how I read it. It's gonna spin, brings it, watch it burst the shield. It does. You take a uh, twelve piercing and four damage for a total of twenty-two on the hit. Oh, yeah, o- only <laughs> just passed. Right. All right. Don't <laughs> want you feel cheated. No, no, you're good. You're Exodus. Um, with Black Razor out because he thirsts for souls. So um, I will at- attack a. Because I have to use Ra- Razor to uh, motherfucker who's a j- nobody. He ain't undead. Uh, 19 I, just hits. Alright, and I will do the sneak attack for an extra 8 damage. So that is a total of 17 plus 6, which is 23. Um, 17 plus 6? Uh, 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 6. Oh no, that the damage, the radiant healing PC damage is what that is. That's right. You are an eight. Six plus eight. I was wondering if you were like, like oh, sneak, sneak damage updated and it's not told me. Is you gonna... No, no, no. I, I keep reading the damage from the undead healing PC damage as the actual damage. I thought, yeah. That's right. No, no, we're good. Six plus eight. Um, I will then proceed to back up. And by back up, I mean run away. Uh, it's 15 feet. Yep. Uh, is there actually a space? So, um, is there space in between here to move? Yeah, like yeah. In between I, here? I haven't walled that off. I would just say that's, you know, some shit there. You could easily pass by that. Wee! 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 30! <laughs> Bonus action! Dash wee! I haven't, I haven't done like any walls here. It's like you know, if you find yourself falling in here, congratulations! I'm rolling a lot of dice. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm a good, good guy. All right, and uh, that was everything. So that is my turn. Let me. It's come. I got it. Speed B key for me. He watches the Dragon L and its raider come flying by down towards Boralus. Can't really do much else. That was a dash action. <laughs> Boralus, first of his turn, first of his name. Uh, probably last of his name, the way he's going. I was just about to say. <laughs> well pick up the longbow and fire off three shots towards the Dragonel by his friends across the way. Uh, 24, 12 will miss, 24 will hit, and finally 10. Wow! Well, I never know how it feels to be Boralus. Fucking shit! <laughs> and he will also, uh, he has some other things. Trans? Nope, not trans. Favoured foe? Um, yeah, he will smack it with a favoured foe for a minute. Uh, to give the extra, what, uh, when you have a creature with an attack roll, you can call him a scope on market. Yeah, it's going to be the 1d4 just now. Fuck, is it 1d4 or is it 1d8 right now? Um, feature when you reach a certain level, 1d6 when you're sixth level. Alright, he's sixth level. Let's just bang off a 5 for the additional damage. Because I don't play ranger. Often. The dragon army officer dismounts. As it does will stab Boralus twice with the lance. It's, yeah, it's a fucking. The dice gods giveth and the dice gods taketh away. Poor Boralus takes 10 damage, followed by no damage. As the dragon army officer here lands on his dragon L. Walks up to the little fucking cacklers. Gonna look, see what. Revel has summoned an absolute disgust 
will swipe the first one. I think it nine fucking misses, by the way. It does. Or smacking us. Eleven also misses, so like just straight up misses the little cacklers. Jesus Christ. Renard lying on the ground, this dragon L peering over you. <clears throat> half a half a move to get up. Half a move to get up, yep. Oh, at least I don't have to go far. <laughs> Oh, I, am, I am never I am never summoning these again. They're they're a little strong. That AC's up there, man. <laughs> Alright. Twice they on have the some Dragon L. They can use Firebolt and Tasha's hideous laughter. Nineteen will hit uh for a total of twelve. Alright, followed by that. A further nine on the smite. Did anyone else your turn? Are you gonna bash um, this fuck around a bit? Nope, that's all. Yeah. Clifton, oh Jesus, I did not prepare his spells. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Right, Clifton will take his hands, smack them together. Spit on them, crack, crack his knuckles, stand up 15 foot, he'll look at the dragon L, put out a finger and go, oh, who's a good boy, and start trying to scratching its chin as he watches this black, crackling magic. That's a fucking crit, y'all! <laughs> watches it, starts to burn and cripple. Ah, uh, fucking 28 damage on an inflict wounds crit. Ouch. That kills it. He's gonna. Do, do, do. Just drops oh, dead. Dead boy. <laughs> ah, I wonder who controls the cacklers. Let's find out. Um, That's summon what now? Summon lesser demon. Summon lesser demon. I gotta read this as all. Um, you are foul words, you fucking it. <laughs> uh, DM chooses demons such as that. You choose, and you choose the unoccupied space, you can see within range where they appear. Summon demons disappear and drop to zero hit points. Demons are hostile to all creatures, including you, will then show up with the summon demons as of their own turn, and pursue a demons attack on non-demons as part of the casting spell. Okay. Um, it doesn't say who does what, which is simultaneously great and annoying. So, um, they're all, they all take their turn as a pack, so one, two, three, four, so... Um, I'm just going to knock them with exhaustion levels to, you know, indicate. <laughs> so, uh, number one, attack, oh, they attack the closest non-demon, so, uh, by that logic, do you want to... Tell me who you're attacking and with what with your cacklers. They're going to all attack the Dragon L Knight um, until he dies <laughs> with uh, firebolts. Good. Actually, we're, what we're going to do, let me look at the cackler spell sheet. Uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter or Firebolt. Uh, I will point out, however, they attack the closest non demon, so uh, two of them would. Because they're in range, attack the dragon L, whilst the other two would attack the officer based off of that. We'll do that. So, um, these two here, oh, I'm pink today. These two here would attack this boy, and this here is its own separate little group. Yep. So, would I roll for them? Yeah, you can roll attack for them. Um, okay. Are you, what are you, what are you doing for them to attack? Yeah, uh, Firebolt. At uh, disadvantage, then. Okay. It's just because um, it's within five foot. Can, uh, I, can I roll to attack for me? Can you oh, roll? yes, I can. Quick, quick roll. Did that roll? Didn't see anything. Okay, um... That's their that? innate spell casting. That's came through, so you'll have to go to the spell book. Okay. So I can just roll through my spell book, you said? Um, no, you'll have to go to their spell book. I think they've got a different to hit than you. Um, 
I mean, let go. Oh, okay. There yeah, they're, they're charisma so. casters, and you're an intelligence caster, and your intelligence is cranked. Their charisma is plus one. <laughs> your intelligence is cranked. You but got you said they have twenty. Hey man, like I try. Um. Okay. Uh, we'll do firebolt. Uh, disadvantage, but uh, that misses anyway. Regardless, uh, AC is nineteen. Okay. Uh, number two. He's going to target the same guy. Yeah. But he's going to use Tasha's. Why not? Oh. Oh, thank you. Eight. Chicken brain. Eight. 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 I haven't had a biryani in a while. There was no sauce, it was like dry chocolate chicken, so I think it's a chicken tikka biryani. Uh, 17, it saves, he's gonna fire off, it speaks some weird and funny words, and the officer kinda looks at it like, oh, fuck you doing, bro? Thank mm -hmm. you. Next one, do this guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's gonna target that guy with this. Disadvantage. With disadvantage. Yeah. 15 just misses. Okay. Last guy. Yep. This spell would be so much better if they would obey me. <laughs> this man summoned okay. demons and is like, why won't they obey me? A disadvantage. Oh, messing my friend. That sucks. That's right. Why do I disagree? Uh, because they're within five foot of an enemy. If you're within five foot oh, of an okay. enemy and you go to cast a spell, it's a disadvantage. Right, yeah, main spell. Okay. Right, so they're... That's fine. Burn it onto the Dragon L, who, having had fire fired at him, um, likes fire, doesn't quite like demons, however. It's gonna snarls and hisses before attacking uh it's gonna say you know it's gonna say these two here because it's fucking easiest uh 21 for 15 on the first and he nat one on the second so he's gonna watch it and the little thing screeches it gets classes unconscious but it's dead okay and then you Dragon kind of looks. He comes with this Godzilla esque screech as it does it. It's just a fly up 10 foot. Is the uh, officer on the ground? Yes, the officer's on the ground. The Dragon L is taking its own flight. Me likey. Okay. So we're going to go with... I have a reaction, but... I've realized it's all in the placement. This was classed as a hard fight. Uh, we're going to target this guy here. The dragon of course we're going to... Of course, we're going to watch out for his allergies. Of course. A 16 will mess him, I'm afraid. Uh, can I silvery barbs that? Um, no. Is that okay? okay. Silvery barbs is to impose disadvantage upon an attack that's already happened to you or a friendly. If you want to okay. silvery barbs yourself, you can. I'm just, you know, making sure you don't waste your own spell slots, but... You know, if you wanna. Uh, what I am going to do, however, is I'm going to make a second roll on that. Chrono Chef? Yes, sir. Okay. Am I am I going to do that as an advantage, or am I going to re-roll the spell entirely? Um, uh, I would say re-roll 1d20 plus 8. One D twenty plus eight. Yeah, you rolled an eight in your last D twenty. Uh, so you're hoping to get a little higher on that D eight. That D twenty this time. 
that was a nice biryani. Mm. Plus eight. Wow. What? It's not one. That rocks. Love that. You're gonna fire this off. No, no, no. That didn't happen. You're gonna watch it. It just fails miserably at that point. It goes right down out of the trench. Doing anything else with your turn? That would be it. All right. The officer, having had that happen, not very happy. I'm gonna come to here. Sees that you have some frontline defense. And so, you know, I can act like this isn't experience based. I can just fucking straight delete shit. <laughs> He's gonna spinning his lance. Because they all love spinning their fucking lances. I love spinning my lances. We'll take a swipe twice at Renard. Uh, a 22 for 13 plus 4 fire, 17, 22 for 17 total, the 16 misses. Mm. Exodus. I am in it to win it. Cardamom. Yeah. Moving up with three feet. I will once more do the razor. 12 will miss. Yep. That was 20 feet. He's like, oh, time to, time to go. Uh, we. Wee. Yep, yeah, another thing that's. You want my go over there. And that'd be my turn. Alright. The dragon L here. Uh, oh, <clears> hmm. <throat> dragon L here will take a swipe at Baralis. Ooh, an 11 will miss before it takes to the air. Here, up. Can it do that out of curiosity? Uh, yeah, it can. That'd be. <clears throat> yeah. The kind of takes up and starts kind of hovering about five foot here. Just ever so lightly off the ground. Baralis, stunned and amazed that this thing's at such speed that he can't make opportunity of attacks, kind of drops the longbow, looks directly at the dragon, the, the dragon army soldier, just kind of shrugs at you, as realizing he's in a bit of a sticky pickle, and will take two swipes, both of which completely miss an eight and a sixteen. The dragon army officer, in turn, will. Pardon me. He will go ahead and try to grapple the boy. Rolls a 19. In fact, he can use whatever he wants, which is better. Uh, do we have anything better? Athletics is ex Yo, meets it, beats it. The officer here, still not happy with your uh, quisate fuckers, your cacklers, as the resistance is cool. We'll take his <laughs> lance and swing at the two in front of him. A 17 and a 16 will kill both. So, uh, 12 damage and 10 damage to the other one. However, I'm going to call it 10 damage to here, okay? Because there's only that one that's an initiative. So, boom, 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 boom. There we go, Renard. Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three. I'm going to move. Here. Move. Not stand. Move. It must be about lag, I so apologize. That's right. No, I was out. I had the wrong thing chosen. I'm going to then miss the step. Oh, baby. Oh, hold on. Whenever they die, they do a thing. They have a death throw. Dragon... Uh... Renard, somehow invisible? Um... Ah... Move here. <laughs> uh, I, I don't fucking know. I'll sort that. Um... No, they don't. They do. Last left. Oh, 
when the Cacula dies, it will release uh, the scars and minds of creatures. Uh, so I need to make three six wisdom saving throws. Give me a little second there, mate. Um, a hole. I'll make these public so you know I ain't fucking with you as well because we're on that. A good looking. Uh, so it's DC 11, so he passes the first, fails the second. What exactly happens? Just a curiosity. Gonna take psychic damage. Uh, roll me a D4. Okay. The um the dragon is to make them as well. I'm just running through it in order of what's there, so I'm gonna do his and then I'm gonna do the dragon, that's why I said six. Gotcha. <clears throat> Uh, so then we go to our dragon owl. Um, least wise, I'll take the four since we're being gentle. Oh, wow, okay, nice. Uh, so he's made us first. He passes the second. And he squibs it on the third. There you go, good looking at me. Uh, Renard, I'm going to remember that you are initiative 41, right? No, you're initiative nine. Nine, yep. Uh, you, all... you make your attacks real quick, man. Or Alice. <coughs> What's that? I was going to say, you make your attacks and I'll delete your token. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh! He's going to bring on the first one, cleaving down a 29. 34 total damage. Oh, fucking filthy. Did I know your turn? Um, nope, that's it. Cool. Um, then I'm gonna move over to Clifton, and I'm gonna delete your token real quick. I'm gonna put it back in. Uh, boom. Uh, I'm gonna roll you back into initiative, and I remember that your number was nine. Nine. So I'll manually set you this now. There you go. I don't know why it done what it done to you. <clears throat> Clifton, uh, realising that he's in a bit of a sticky situation. Mm, but bring him down out of this fucking side now. Uh, shit. Uh, spiritual weapon. He's gonna do his spiritualisms right here by this guy. Uh, 13 will miss. Horrid bonus action. Um, and then he'll toll the dead on the guy as well. Uh, let's see, boom, ding, fails it. That's fucking ba da ba. Cackler. Still on at the dragon, but. Jalen. I was speaking. I uh, said so I don't know if he can inspect the dragon. The, oh. Uh, technically speaking, they're the closest target. Oh, dear goodness gracious me. So. Roll a d20. Roll a d20. He's closer to the officer. Both 10 foot. Oh, they're both 10 foot. I rolled evens as well. I'm gonna watch as the uh, little fucker turns towards Baralis. And I'm gonna take a bite out. Okay. Alright, a little bite. So watch what happens. It rolls an eight, it's good. Oh, wow. Yeah, when it's attacking friendlies, I'll just do it because I, I have no qualms with hitting. <laughs> Watch this one who flew up, comes resting down here. It's almost like a pounce, if you will. Rebel. Rebel. Um. Uh. God. I'm gonna put this guy on pause. So action. 
What do you mean, but one pause? Momentary stasis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an action, and I don't like that because I don't have any bonus action spells that really do damage. No, I don't. And wizards can't change spells whenever they level up. They just gotta stick with the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, but if you find spell books, you can just learn new spells. Yeah, you'd think, but it wouldn't let me change them. I don't know if it was something wrong with me while I was leveling well, if, up. If or... you find the spell book, I think we got that sorted in the end, so I put you up one. I think, um, I think I had an issue similar with uh, Tipler, where. I had to level them up one to go to the spells to drop the level to go back to the spells or something to make it work. Mm, no, it's Baralis. Oh, so I... more spells. So all your spell amounts and such are correct for your level. No, I was talking about changing them. Um, you get to prep them, but you learn your spells. Yeah. Oh, what did you just hit with? There's another Jim's magic missile at second missile. Jim's magic missile at second level. Uh, misses, unfortunately. Let's try to reroll that. Oh, we need 20 plus 8. Yes, sir. Okay. And um, what were you hitting? The uh, Dragon Nail Knight. Okay. The Yep, that hits. Uh... As it should, I have a plus eight. <laughs> <laughs> Love and a hate race at the same time. So, put it in range. You have range. You range spelling and tower and a hit. Missile deals 2d4 damage to the target if they attack. So, it's a critical hit. So, uh, yeah, uh, 2d4 on this bitch here. Wow. I'm just checking. Um... <clears throat> Okay, um, so you got to make a range attack for every missile. Yeah, you, you got to do that two more times, mate. Have I been doing this wrong this entire time? Yeah, I've been reading it as one roll for all three hits. A set of, like magic missile, but with a roll. You you got a roll for all three. This is like scor. Pardon me. This is like scorching ray. No, no. You need to roll an attack roll two more times. Oh, okay. The 1d20 plus 8, again. They still have to hit each every, every time? Yeah, so oh. you, you're doing the 1d20 plus 8 to see if it hits. So you re-rolled your first one that fucked over. So you're still doing your other three. Okay. So... Do I still use them as second spell slot? Mm, use it as... I cast spell at second level? I'm just, I'm just saying in your chat bar, just do slash r one d twenty plus eight again. Okay, gotcha. I and mean, then you can choose to reroll the damage if you wish. What's the damage right now? Uh, five. five. On two d fours, it's five. So I think you're just above average. That's fine, I guess. So uh, one d twenty plus eight. Yep. Copy that. Copy that. Control C. Control V. Beautiful. The second one also hits you taking five or are you rolling two D four again? I'm taking five. Yeah. So at uh, two of your three hit, not too bad. Um the last one's a 14. I'm guessing that's a whiff. That is a mess, yeah. Did anything mm -hmm. else you turn? No. Yeah, and as you move over the dragon army obviously you watch he start sneezing your hyper allergenic shit. Don't are you running that one again? No 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 no. I that was the second one I ah. didn't use yet. <laughs> start sneezing, not very happy with you in that one. You know. 
You're hyperallergenic. Well, he's he's allergic to hyperallergenic, all right? He needs his allergies. So, you're going to smack you twice for that one. You know, return the favor, Love return to sender. Both fucking miss. A 10 and an 11, by the way. Love it. <laughs> Exodus. So, uh, Exodus moves one over. And then using the diagram theorem, I would like to hit the dragon. Yep, you can do that. It is still technically within that squared, uh, cubed range. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, please hide numbers, hide numbers. 17 uh, seven. Wait, let me add that sneak attack. So it's a... Well told. Yep. And then I'm running away from this bitch. Oh. Moving carefully not to get into range of the way in a second. Is, does he have his lance out or his other weapon? Yeah, has his lance out. Shit, lances have a range of 10 feet. Uh... I forgot that. <laughs> you... I forgot that. Uh, if it isn't the consequences of my own action. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll... I'll act as I go to... You what, sorry? I'll take the active of opportunity right. from the dragon army, dragon, uh, dragon knight. Okay. Yeah. You're still technically within range. No, no, I'm moving. I was just yeah, looking at it. But you stayed within the 10 foot the entire time, mate. I know, no, and then I'll move 30, and then bonus action dash. Oh, I'm all the way over here now. Look at that. This man forgot what? he could just bonus action disengage. Oh, yeah. That one misses, don't worry. Did I announce your turn? Yeah, no, that's it. Kill. Well, the Dragon L. Not very happy with that. Not very happy at all. Well, fly up and towards you. And I'm going to ask for an anti grapple check. DC 14. Was that from Exodus. In the claws of the dragon L. You know, restrained very much so. Boralis, very confused, very annoyed, unsure what's going on. Because he watched the cackler from Rev. We're gonna just turns round and shrugs before taking two more swings with that long sword at the bad guy. Fuck me, a five and then a crit. Man, I would hate to be Boralis. Remember, both hit for 7, 14, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16 total damage. You are Boralis. <laughs> Temporarily. My pain is only temporary, young one. <laughs> See, dragon army officer. You know, very confused, very annoyed. Which is going to take an attack at both Renard. And at Boralis. Renard for that absolutely dirty crit he done. And then Boralis for that one he done. This guy not having a good day. Considering he missed both attacks as well. Kind of very angry. <clears throat> this guy over here screams, Don't worry brother, I'll save you! And comes running around with his lance. Spinning it like an attack helicopter to whack the little Quasiti fucker crackler here. 21 for 9 plus 3 fire damage. Rounded down to 1 makes a death. Uh, need to make a wisdom saving throw. Boom, boom, boom. At the 15. The cacker goes. <laughs> so, don't we all have to make that wisdom saving throw? That's a good fucking question. Uh, last lap, cackler dies, scaring every other nearby creature within 10 foot. Yep. Uh, oh, even me again, funnily enough. Uh, yeah, so Boralis will make that. Uh, you save, you're good. Boralis, your wisdom saving throw. How's it go? Goes a little something like a 14. Nice. Uh, second one will also make his saving throw. 90. We'll pass. The cackler... <coughs> the cackler is now Mao. And you lose concentration. <coughs> the dragon army officer in his <coughs> hatred for that fucker will then look at Boralis and be like, oh, this is your fault, isn't it? You can't smack with the thing, but it misses because Boralis is a bit stronger than that. He swole, he went to the gym. Renard, you're up. Oh, yeah. After all of that, 
Let's just keep on keeping on this son of a gun right in front of me. And let's hope we will. Do we. See? It's a fucking weird night. <laughs> yeah, 21 will hit for a total of 15 damage. You can watch the armor is scraping away, and you can see that even through the chainmail, there is blood pouring from Ariel. So, you doing anything else your turn? Mm, no, that's it. Chainmail, sorry, my bad. Splint mill. <clears throat> Clefton will look at Revel and be like, yeah, this is. This is, um. This is no bueno. Um. We're not doing too good. I'm gonna, you know, move my spiritual weapon 10 foot. I'm gonna bust forth another spiritual weapon. A 14 will miss. I'm not very happy with that. I'm gonna remember that real quick as well. He is 1d20 plus 6. Um, spiritual weapon 1d20 plus 6. And then the damage is how much? 1d8 plus 3. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so Clifton has done that. He's then going to be like, you know what? Fuck you. Toll of the dead. Uh, the guy's going to kind of look at him for a moment. The bell rings. His bell is rung for a total of a nat 1 for a nat 1. Something about the gods. The Dragonel will take to the sky for five. And as it will, the claws come out towards Renard to grapple. Uh, DC 15. <clears throat> grapple fails. Revel. Time for Revel to Revel. Okay, ah! If I do that, I would have to do it at a disadvantage. I cast friends on this guy. Friends? Uh, you have advantage on all charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't, that isn't hostile towards you. I'll give you that back. Oh, right. Ah. That's not, uh, this is not fast friends. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. There's two different versions of this spell. One's a lot better than the other one. <laughs> How deep is that uh, pit down there? Uh, I'll go ahead and say 30 foot because it's filled with water rushing. Um, okay. But that's still going to be a hard landing regardless. That's cool. Yeah. Um, then I'll cast sleep on him. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> go sleep. Now, let's go see. sleep. I can go like that. No, I can't go like that. Remember that sleep affects those with the least hit points first. Yeah, within the 20 foot sphere. Yeah. I'm trying to just make sure he's the only one within the 20 foot sphere. Well, look at it this way. Neither you nor Clifton have taken damage. So whatever you roll, you first got to take the health of the dragon army officer off. And then whatever remains is what would be left on use. <clears throat> but I'm not in the circle. What I'm saying is you can cast it on yourself. You'd be fine. For 32, you'd be more than fine, as um, this guy only has 31 hit points left. So uh, cool. he just immediately looks... Starts to 
swirl. You're gonna watch as the face moves, and then he just collapses. Nice. What's the wake up conditions again? Uh, being attacked. Mm, 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 mm. Can I push him into this uh, thing right here? Is my last action? I mean, uh, do I have to have an action for that? You would have to have an action for that. <clears throat> so you, you have to use an action, you need to pick him up, and we're just going to half your movement speed, and then you can drop him into the wash. Soon, my pretty, soon. <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> <laughs> Did I announce your turn? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm just checking how, how long does this last for. A minute. Cool. Well, he's out for the next 10 rounds. Exodus, grappled by the Dragonel. He can still attack. Um, he's like... Yeah. He's like, uh, help, I might be eaten by a dragon soon. I mean, Dragonel? Is that... What's the... Are they cousins? And then he would... Uh, I will bonus action steady aim. I yeah. know, my first steady aim of the entire campaign. And then I will go to jam a razor in his butthole. I told you I don't know what steady aim does. <laughs> oh, um, so it makes... Oh, so I th it's an optional rogue feature. I thought that you told me I could use it previously. Um, it makes it so that I can't move for my turn, um, but get advantage on my next attack or my attack. Was it me that told you that? It was uh, Melano. I had no idea where it was, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, Reddit advantage, cool. No, so, actually, hold on, let me look in my uh, features. It's there? actually on my sheet. No, no, it's there. I just never told you about it because I didn't know about it. She told you about it. I think she used it at some point, but you are four plus eight for 12 damage. To the yep. Dragonelles, it kind of screams and weathers and shakes and you kind of shake with it as you're caught in its claws. You doing it else your turn? Uh, no, you would just be like, help me, I'm going to die. And that, uh, that is it. <clears throat> well, the Dragonel will use its entire flying speed to fly up with you. And so it does kind of watch as everyone seems to get minuscule for a moment before it just... Are you feel you're going up for a moment. For the world starts coming at you fast. As it does, you're gonna hit the ground with this large crack. Could you give me a dexterity save, please? I got you. <clears throat> you, <laughs> Did you. I don't got you. You want prone and take, and I shit you not when I say this. 13 damage from a 60 foot fall. 13 damage? Full damage <laughs> from a, like, full damage there is, thir you took 13 from 60 foot. That ain't even. <laughs> How is that right? 66, 1d6 for every 10 foot, is it not? Yeah, no, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, a two, a one, a three, a four, a one, and a two. Alright, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck? <clears throat> uh, the dragon army of... No, Baralis, sorry. Uh, so many sheets on my left side, it's unreal. He's going to attack the one by Renard, and then the one by him. One by Renard, 21 for seven. Sorry, have I? And then the one up to his north. Uh, go you know, win some, you lose some. <clears throat> the dragon army officer here. Uh, not a big fan of that one. Well, he's got his thing here somewhere. He's gonna take a doubling one to Baralis. I'm fucking my words. Then one to Renard. Baralis takes a total of six damage. Renard, you take none as it rolled a 12. Eight dragon army officer here will go ahead and he will grab. <coughs> Oh, that's a 20, can Boralus, no, Boralus is not going to use strength for this because Boralus has expertise in athletics. Expertise is not enough to save him from being fucking grappled, though. The dragon army officer starts taking a 
15 foot scurry back with a Boralis in tow. Renard. One in front of you. Blood pouring piles at your feet. Still standing. The Dragonel. Um, not done much recently. Also, not hurt very much. Still kind of flapping its way. Everyone's muted. Everyone's muted. I mute myself when it's not my turn. Yeah, about that. <laughs> hit the one right in front of me. I'm going to make sure. Yep. Try to make sure. Hey, damn it. Ouch. 17 will miss. A 24 for 11, 12 will hit. Gonna bring it in and cut this fucker down. <clears throat> okay. That missed, so I get that back. Okay. Why did that go to zero? Three. That's it for me for now. Okay. <clears throat> Clifton, well, Clifton's not dumb. That's a spiritual weapon, twenty foot, and well. Oof. Really? Didn't take getting bolt, really? Oh! Hit myself. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck me sideways. Um. You know what? Still technically within range. Told the dead. <laughs> and will you fit. Oh, come on. Fail for his buddy, fails, takes a eight. <coughs> Clifton kind of moves to the edge. The Dragonel comes down from its high on perch. Hi on you. High on perch, five foot. Make whatever you want of that. We'll take two swings at yourself, Renard. Uh sixty will miss twenty one for nine. Fifteen total. <coughs> Revel. Alright, um, Rebel doesn't have, why doesn't Rebel have touch spells? God knows. Remember that any attack on a unconscious creature is at advantage, unless it's a rage oh, spell. Oh, no, yeah, and right, he's unconscious. It hits, it's crap. Yep. Yeah, no, he's unconscious, I just pushed him into the, the gap here with the running water, it's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> You're gonna do me a favor, just for me. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Could you roll me a unarmed strength attack? Sure. Zero damage. See whether or not you can it as an advantage as well. We'll call okay. this akin to the shove action. You have advantage. I have advantage. Okay. Didn't help it's much. Very hard to grasp this man. Rather heavy in his splint armor. Like okay. Did anything to shoot him? No, that eats my action. Well, he skips his turn anyway. Exodus lying on the ground. You watch as this dragon L is soaring back down towards you at a breakneck speed as you're lying there looking. Oh, is the dragon above me, or did it just come on down? Or did, has it not come down yet? It's coming down, but it's not came down. Oh, you would spend half this movement to get up. Um, you know what, there's a guy over there. He's still alive. So 15... Uh, bonus action dash would get me exactly a 45. 
Um, and I would go to just plunge Razor into the back of this motherfucker. Let's see it. Melee I number three. With advantage because he is unconscious and therefore prone. Oh, yeah, he's unconscious one. <clears throat> Automatically uh, crits. Right, right. So, what would I have to roll again? Uh, so, I actually have a little... So if you hover, Another 2d4? Hover plus, over the uh, 7. Hover over the 7, and there's a little plus on the left-hand side, and that'll roll, it as, that'll roll the crit damage for you. I, it, I just... I clicked on something. I don't know what it did, though. Oh. 12, and then your sneak attack is technically also with advantage. Well, not advantage, yep. but it's technically also crit. So, you are... Oh, I need that crit. Another 2d6 on top of that, mate. Okay, what's up? So... I got 10, 17, 19 total damage. Alright. And that is my turn. Okay. He's going to hear the scream from this man as he comes to looking the dagger it's feeling happy you feel a almost bloodlust now I need this fucking math uh, y'all are 30 foot away It is 60 foot by. Of course, RJ comes back when we're doing math. Hold on, real quick. Oh, you're. It's about here. Lance, it's just out of reach of you. What, what's happening? Let me log into the. Uh, uh, just the, the Dragon L movement. Baralis. We'll try as hard as once more to get out of this fucking grapple. 13 Ooh, grapple. contested. That's a nat 20, that ain't gonna work. <clears throat> Dragon Army Officer will then drop his lance as he does, will fire. Does he get one or two? Man, makes two pitches once a time. What the fuck need to be managed to use a lance? Do they change it? Well, fire his crossbow at himself, Bernard. Uh, 24... Nah, 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 17. Shit. Some of that's fire damage. Some of that's piercing. We'll proceed to... start dragging... Boralus towards a ledge. <laughs> Bernard. Oh, my goodness. I am going to have to... <clears throat> RJ, the red bit in the middle is your spiritual weapon. I was moving it. Then some. Uh, You're good. Lay on. So spring, has, spring hasn't loaded in for me yet. Well, lay on hands hand. on myself for 30. Alright, I'll throw 30 on you right now. <clears throat> also, I will be. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Did anyone else your turn there? Oh, let me reload. I'm not loading in. It may take a minute because we're in combat and there's been a lot going on. Ah. Uh, no, did anyone else your turn? Um, looking. Yep. Uh. Nope. That's it. Alright. Then we'll move over. Uh, RG, you want me to take this turn for you or do you want to take it yourself? Um, give it a quick second. Yeah, go ahead and take it for me. Right. I'm, I'm not going to be able to see anything right now. Going to move the spiritual weapon over towards the uh, dragon L to give assistance. Slash R1. No, slash R1D20 plus 6 for the attack. Misses. <laughs> uh, that thing has not done much good. Pull the dead on the Dragonel. Man, it's... <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> the... Wait, what's going on? 
just the, the way the dice have been in it, it's been weird. Like for every hit, there's a fail, and if you f if something nat ones, there's another nat one right behind it. The dice don't don't love us today. <clears throat> Dragon the dice are upset. I only got an eighty on my final. Dragon, I'll take a rending attack at yourself, Renard. Sixteen will miss, and then it will kind of take flight for five, move over thirty-five for full forty, and drop down for five in front of you. These guys here. I get an opportunity attack? No. Believe it or not. No? Dang. Fly by. Rebel. Alright. So, what we're going to do is. This. Oh, um, okay. I cast fireball. Mm -hmm. Bonjour. Right here. Oh god. Never mind. Oh. No, it's just not. You just get the wind over this coming off the heat. The immense fire pressure. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I thought that was been really laggy and I managed to time that perfectly for the fucking the save for the explosion. Uh fails. Absolutely fails, takes a total of fourteen damage. Gotcha. Did I announce your turn? All those ones, oh my god. Yeah, two now. It's twenties though. Well, two, 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 two full sixes. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna eat it over here. Yeah, that's the end of my. That's the end of my turn. Yeah. The dragon army officer will stand up as he does. You know, spin the lands, gives this glaring look towards Exodus. He just comes off the spin, jabbing one end up into important. Turn round and hitting again. Both of which, by the way, fail on an eight and a fourteen. Exodus. <clears throat> and this is why you're a bitch. <laughs> oh. So and then, so you're, to change. you're going to attack the uh, the man, the manly man, the not the dragon owl, the manly, the manly man. manly man. Uh, the I selected man. it. I, was, I didn't have my token selected. Of course, of course, that does not. It's not hat, my friend. All right, bonus action disengage. I am getting quote unquote the fuck out of here. Five feet. Ten feet. Twenty feet. Thirty feet. You just walk over all the scorched land as the dragon elf screams, singes upon its wings and tail. Then it's your turn. No, he looks to the dragon elf and says, "You're not going to grapple me, are you?" And then that's 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 his turn. And the dragon elf turns at the provocation. Oh no! And proceeds to lean in, snarling and snapping with its tail. Not twenty. Oh, uh, for, for enough on the one to knock you unconscious. Yep. However, that's the all damage on that. Is you gonna come down and crack? You're gonna hear as it tackles away as you fall to. Is he dragging other ones up to revel and proceeds to? Oh my fucking god! No way, shape, or form. Another crit. That's that's, that's unfortunate. Revel, nice. you take. Twenty two wow, twenty five damage. Which That's for, amazing, for Revel it? is fucking nothing like by this, the way. 
I feel like just pulling off the hat I'm crocheting, and every time uh, Scottish says another 20, I just go, that's nice to hear. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, Baralis, being dragged away, not very happy with it, will take his long sword and try swing at the fuck, both of which misses he's wildly flailing. The dragon boy will... Uh, let's drop the lance. Gonna... In the weirdest and funniest way possible. I think it's actually a two-handed weapon. It's actually worse. Yeah, it's actually worse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, then he's gonna he's gonna have to punch him. One d twenty plus five. Twenty-three for three damage. He's gonna watch as Bras is gonna take a punch to the kidney. Renard. Hey. Well, let's see. Give me one second. I need to get back to the computer. I am making a turkey club. Decisions, decisions. <clears throat> Attack the dragon on the officer laying here. Is he still on the ground? Uh, the one over here. Yeah. Uh, not no more. No, he's standing. All right. No oh, crap. Well, anyway, let's do this again. Side strike. And. Misses. Miss. Just you about oh, oh that one though. And I crit. See, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm assuming it's a dragon army officer in front of Rebel. Yep. Kind of fire one through his armor. Just manages to catch one of those little bits in the splint. Doing it now, Sir. Uh, <clears throat> Clifton. Alrighty. Let me let me move you on back to the computer. I'm here. I see a oh, this really is a dry bones wasteland, no pun intended. Well actually there's twenty foot of water in here, there just wasn't a map for it. <laughs> oh. Oh thank god there's a water source. Alright, this thing. It's gotta go. This is enemy too, I guess. Yep. Let's see what I got. That red thing is the sword, right? So, uh, bonus action, I want to move that shit. I want to move that right next to here. Right here. Between the two of them. Uh, it's only got 20 foot movement. Oh, 20 feet? Oh, shoot. Well, let's, so, you, let me, you, let can, me, you can get it to like, the dragon L here. Within that 20 foot. Uh, this would be like the furthest your 20 foot will take it. So you could get it here, attack, and then move it the next time. Wait, where is the dragon L? Uh, there's a dragon L right here, mate, and a dragon L right here. I can't, I, I can't see the dragon L right here. Ah, there's one right there. Been there for a little while. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll keep that sword there to attack the dragon L there, and I'll try to do something here. Uh, if you want to attack with the <laughs> spiritual weapon, one d twenty plus six. All right. Let me just. Make I wrote it down for my own ease. I get like a hundred mm -hmm. snaps from my brother, and I bet it's all mm -hmm. videos of a puppy. Roll! Beautiful, and your damage is 1d8 plus 3. Oh, yeah, 1d8 plus 3? Yep. 6d8, 1, 2, 3. Mmm, I like that. Oh, 11, nice. You're also rolling privately, but don't worry. Uh, 11 damage just for that. It's such just fucking good damage, man. Did anyone else your turn? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me look at my spell sheet. So that's your bonus action. So you have Axel. Axel? Axel? What do I have? Long sword. Uh, I'm not going in just yet. 
I was always just take away from my prepared thing. Okay, 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 okay. Um. What is this? No. You know what? You know what? Um, I'm just gonna holy word. Uh, the, that uh. Hold on. Holy word! Even I don't know what that does. Oh, uh, I'm not ready to wait for breath. <laughs> Make a range fire against a creature on a hit. The target takes 1d8 radiant damage. If you hit an undead fiend or fae, speed reduced by 10. Okay. Uh, reduced by one by you may have to fly. Okay. So, uh, who are you hitting with that? Oh, the other dragon now. Ah, okay. Uh, once again, make your still rolling privately. Alright. Give all these off. You did anything else your turn? Oh. Let, let me uh, let me public roll. Okay, good. And uh, that'll be it for my turn. Let me in my turn. Okay, okay. The... And let me list in. Why does it still have me listed as Bren? What am I doing wrong? I've I've already set you. Don't worry. Uh, you just oh, you were selecting you. the character. You selected Bren. So he says that. E. Dragon L will. Yeah. Okay. Move on and towards oh, what we do. What we do. The choices. The choices. Uh. Yeah, I'll do this. So I'm gonna move to yourself and swingity swing. It only hits you once for 21, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 total damage. Revel. Alright. Not needed to do it. Yep, we're good. Is, uh, is Exodus just passed out? Yeah, Exodus just passed out. Sleeping it off. Dying. You're sleeping it off. I'll not hear any more of it. <laughs> oh wait, Exodus is passed out? Oh, that shit. <laughs> what? I know what I'm doing next, turn. I'm gonna build a little here. table. Why am I in a sandwich? Ah, uh, cause you a snack. I don't like this sandwich. Oh, this turkey club is coming along nicely. <laughs> I'm gonna move back. As long as think he's far away. Let's see how distance that is. Twelve. I don't want to bleed. Total damage. Nice. Uh, the lance so, comes in and the Dragonel takes a swing at you and the you know, in dodging the lance you get the quick Dragonel swing. Alright, um He's right there, I can't do that. You can do a lot of things if you put your mind to it, young one. Uh, do what you gotta do. Nah, you you won't you won't survive that. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, you make that sound like it's a bad thing. <laughs> we already lost two. Uh, at this point now, we're just not- we're just putting notches on the bedpost. Wait, wait. Is Exodus at zero, or is he- Oh yeah, oh. Exodus- Exodus party just a little too hard. Okay, that's bad. To put, in the, to put in the actual words, he's bleeding out currently. He's digging deeper oh. just to throw it away. Shakira, Shakira. Let's uh, let's uh, uh, let's hope this next save is a good one. I can get to you. I'm very sorry. I I, I need to remember that that's passed out and not asleep. To, to whom are you hitting? The uh, the dragon behind the officer. A twenty five will hit for five. That fucks it. Okay. I can, I can shoot. Yeah, I can choose two right. more. So, yeah, the other dragon knows well. Well, oh, men are 1d20 plus eight, yes, yeah, sir. I think I can just paste this control V. Oh, baby, and uh, you taking the damage or are you re rolling the damage? What is it? Still a five? Still a five, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Why not? Okay, and give me one more. Oh, baby, and I'm assuming you're keeping the five. Yep. Just gonna 
kind of hit the dragon as this one clumps to the ground, screeching at another one. Takes two hits and looks like a bitch in return. Did I know I'm sorry. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> move to the dragon army officer, who, having seen the absolute mess that you are creating, will run towards you. No! Stop that! There's a dragon <laughs> L right there by Clifton, like. I'm not going to bully Clifton, I'm going to bully you. You're a wizard, Harry. Uh, to which none of all of the imposed bullying does nothing. Uh, a 12 and a 6, and the 6 is a nat 1. Exodus, privately, can I have a d20, please? Yeah, uh, do I, don't I have to be 2d20 because I wasn't here last time? 2d20? Um, I'd be right back right before it was my turn, and then I think we went through an entire round, so this would be my second death saving throw. Uh, I could be wrong. I f I want to say you're wrong too. Um, let's see. There was you. There was the rend. There was the rend. There was Boralus. There was Revel. You said you got to carry your niece in. Yep. Okay, so I'm checking these just now. You said you got to carry your niece in. Said no issue. It was then Renard's turn. Renard made two, and then it was. So let's see where where's Renard fall. Then it was Clifton. Then it was the Dragonel. So no. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're right. just starting to you. So yeah, you gonna fire that one off to me? You're gonna lie in there, feeling it, breathing in and out heavily, trying your hardest to come through. Boralus is going to try once more and break this fucking grapple. 23, come on. I believe in you. You can do it. Breaks the fucking grapple. And immediately will take the attack of opportunity because he wants to get the fuck away from there. 21 for 15. He does the. Is he healing worded? Oh, he's got cure wounds, not healing word. Ah, oh, you're healing spirit. I don't know to use that. I'm going to try to attempt to use that one right now. That's good for after it. Boom, bang, 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 bang. The Dragon Army officer kind of looking at that. Not very happy. Takes his crossbow, fires off towards Renard 1, off to Boralus 2. Both miss. Renard, you're up. Okay, dokie. I'm going to. This DVD has been announced with Disney Sausage. What? <laughs> Oh, it's this it's, it's a DVD um thing. It's reaching. Well, let's just do it this way. I'm still concentrating on this guy over here. Yep. <clears throat> with, with uh, Revel. Revel. Yeah. I'm going to precise strike again. Let's see if that helps. 50 more miss. 19 well hit, however. Granted for one, but one is better than nothing. Do you know what she's gonna Yeah, it's uh, only once per that. Once per turn, but usually gonna fire in the 19. Yeah, gets a little bit in his toe. Not very happy with that one. Just favorite toe. <laughs> Whatever I can do to help. Did I announce your turn? Uh, um, I'm going to move this direction. That's measuring, not moving. I can still measure and you hit space bar and it just moves you. Alright. Move there. Nope, let's go here. Keep him away from the paralysis. <coughs> Did I announce your turn? That's it. That's it. Clifton. Clifton looks over and sees Exodus on the ground, crow circling, starts panicking. No, 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 you know you don't. Messes. All right, thank God. You're not dying on me. You're not, you, no. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna spare the dying. 
Give him the Narcan. Got you. I got a flip him the Narcan. He stops convulsing. <laughs> That's your turn. Right. I got the bonus action. So uh, is there still a? Is there still a? Uh, a uh, um. Yes. It hasn't moved. Yeah. I, I can't see it. That's right. Um. All right. I'm gonna attack it. Let, let me uh, roll. One d twenty plus six. Miss. Mmm. That's Not wonderful. One. All right. Go take your time and, and yep. yeah, make sure she's okay. So, then, All right. Anything else for your time there, my guy? Then that's that's gonna be about it, I think. Wait, hold on. Let me let me just check to make sure I can't do anything else. No, I can't. All right. <clears throat> then I'm gonna. Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna push over the dragon arm. Like I said, uh, we're already over there. So. And do. Oh, so so tough, so tough. It's an absolute toughie. It's gonna take to the skin. <clears throat> Just start circling around Revel. Revel. Um, what Revel gonna do? I don't have any more fireballs on me. Got this knight in front of me. And I hate... Knights? No. Why are you back awake? Who, who woke you back up? That one, <laughs> he just Love it. crying himself. No, he's not unconscious. He's prone <laughs> and technically incapacitated. Mm -hmm. uh, boom, buddy, boom, boom. Did anything else? That's it. Uh, do I still got that lance on me? Do you still got that lot? I should have a lance on me. Was it not Fane that took a lance? Was it? I think so. I'll double check my notes in a moment. Uh, <clears throat> you can't really do anything bar uh, end of his turn. Uh, takes damage. Can we get our wisdom saving throws? So yeah. Uh, you give him the old Tasharu. He can't do anything. He make you the throw again. He failed the throw again. Exodus, who is Sparkle. Boralis. <laughs> I have the best dreams. I'm dreaming of like awesomeness and like, sea life. And... Ross will kind of come down, and as he does, will grab his longbow, shoot out to the side a little, and fire off the dos. Uh, Twelve will miss. Eleven will miss because why does Boralus, you know, uh, Dragon Army officer, will laugh in draconic and proceed to show him how it's done with a heavy crossbow bolt, which surprisingly. Misses. Bernard. Okay, I'm going to close with this son of a gun. I'm going to use my vow of enmity on him. When it's actually where I am against creatures, you can see within 10 foot of you, you just need to a minute, you can advantage on all attacks for one minute. I'm gonna do this twice. Twelve and there's a twenty-five will have you get two not ones that were completely negated. Did I announce your turn? Let's see nope. Let me think. Now then the bonus action. Nope. All I got left so reaction. Nothing. Nope, that's it. Cute. Barnes over to Clifton. Oh sorry. So he's he's alive, but barely. I'm gonna. Where is it? Where, where, where the fuck is it? Oh, where, the, where the, the dragon L or 
Oh, you have the Dragon L for one. I'm also looking for um, which spell I'm gonna. He's put here, him. but he's sixty foot in the air. Sixty foot in the air. Yeah. So if I can't, uh, I can't uh, bring that sword that far up. No. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna focus on healing. Make sure this guy wakes up okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just pop out her uh, cure wounds real quick. A cure wounds. Uh Oh yeah, that's your. And that's just like you fucking know that shit. To who? To where? Uh, to uh, Exodus. Not seventy-eight. Seven. Oh my god! <laughs> I was about to say. I'm alive! <laughs> I'm alive! I'm dead again. <laughs> He's gonna come I'm back to the loving hills of Clifton, the sickly got man. You lie there looking up at your new saviour. And it was big brown Checking eyes. your pupils and shit, <laughs> and then I'm asking you, are you alright? Answer me! Answer me! Oh god, did I make a zombie? <laughs> he looks up at him and says, Damn. I used to rock a goatee just like that. Oh, thank God you're okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna refrain from giving him a hug because we've been out in the sun for God knows how long. We don't have deodorants, <laughs> but you can tell that he's uh he's not used to to, to this shit working. You know, he, he 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 he's pretty new to these powers having an actual effect. He's pretty he's not very sure of himself and, and as far as his clerical abilities go, but he's very happy you're alive. And um, um, Clifton's going to turn towards that Dragonelle in the air and start staring it down, trying to think what the fuck to do with it. And to, um, before I end my turn, I'm just gonna move the fucking um, the fucking uh, spiritual weapon, spiritual weapon, twenty feet in the air, because why the fuck not? All right, uh, I will say you are for the, for the purpose of any spells where the Dragonelle is, where you are, no movement from each of you. The distance is sixty-seven foot. All right, got you. So, so we have that do, 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 mathematically. Yep. Uh, cool. I'm just gonna quickly note that down because I'm dumb enough to forget. I'm just gonna keep chipping away at it. Hopefully, I get there eventually. The dragon owl will still spin and circle to pick its prey. As the battlefield is very much target rich. Revel. Love it. Okay. Revel. Oh, hi. Sixty foot. You said. Sixty foot for you. Are you in uh, your th So yeah, uh, technically speaking. Oh, it's going to be a little bit more. No, sixty-seven foot for you. Sorry, I made a mistake with uh. You can have this. So it's actually 65 foot for Clifton and 67 foot for Revel. <laughs> However, 120 feet says fuck you sideways as you kind of... <laughs> the magic missile goes up for a total of 6 damage on the first missile. Can I have another 1d20 plus 8? <laughs> Will miss. Will miss. Okay. So you're gonna fire them off and just the distance, the sun. You know, meet in the middle. Little firework. Is there anything else your turn? Yep. Nope. No. Yo. There was over to the unconscious guy who can really only do the one thing and the one thing only, and that one thing being a wisdom save. He's gonna stop laughing and, you know, tell his demeanor immediately changes. He saves Exodus lying down on the ground, hearing the laughing stop the battle from over the gorge, the Dragon Isle, circling in the air, its shadow constantly looming over. He does the vampire raise up where he does not use his hands or feet, he just like pivots. No, no, he, assumingly with the help of uh, Clifford, I mean Cl Clifton? Clifton, Clifton. Yeah, Clifton. For, uh, for just roleplay value, he takes his hand and gets pulled up and 
takes a few deep breaths before making his way downtown, moving fast, faces fast. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna break your neck. Bonus action, bonus action dash. I cannot, I'm moving on top of this guy, I cannot move out. Uh, don't worry, I got aim set. Uh, three, two, one, there you go. Alright, thank you, and then so bonus action dashing. That's 45 right there, I think. Yep, 45 feet. I will use fucking razor, even though it's a piece of shit. I hate it so yes. much. Take it razor. Oh, you have a okay. 18 for 7 and uh, 18 for 7. And sneak attack. For 15 is he goes down. He's going to plunge that in as he screams and Something about it just feels so good. Alright, let me add this to the uh, Google Doc of um, <laughs> Fuck shit. all the razor kills I have. Did anyone else return? Uh, yeah. Um, no, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll use the rest of my movement just to get um, uh, here. You already used all your movement. Oh, right. 45. 45 was exciting. 15, 15 to get up. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, right, that is my turn. Yeah. Barala, oh my god. Why am I still bad with my ball? And he will go ahead once more to make the two bow attacks. Hitting on the second one, uh, he gets. Because that. F no, that fucker's dead and he didn't move it. Uh, dun dun dun. Six. The dragon arm also is in front of you. Yeah. Looks gonna watch he drops the heavy crossbow. Gonna pivots round it's behind you. I'm trying to think mathematically. Dun 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 because did he I'm pretty sure I said he did. I think where? Uh bum 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 ha, ha, ha. Moves to here. To pick up his lance. Mm -hmm. Can if you want. 17 more miss. However, it is your turn as well, so. Oh. Let's just do this again. Ba, 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 ba. Please get it. 25. Oh, beautiful. Fucking beautiful. 13, 26, 29, 31 total damage. You're gonna bring oh, wait, that wait, in. Wait, let's just yeah. add this for the effect. Where is it? Bang. Smiting for, for the fun of it. Um, <laughs> oh, it's such a wasted spell slot. That was He's gonna bash both in. He's gonna lunges forward, screaming as in the energy is um yeah he had like two health left <laughs> he just crumbles to the ground in a bursting of light you did anything else with your turn <clears throat> let me ten i'm gonna down here next to mayor alice and that's it yeah clifton oh wait there's still a dragon now in the air right yep still 60 feet still circling Right. Uh, how far do they, How far is it from me, right now? Six day five foot. All right. I would like to move. Hold on, real quick. I want to take away as much movement, sorry, as much distance as possible without being right directly under it. Actually, no. Fuck it. I got eighty feet. Mm, crossbow time. Nineteen for name will hit. And, uh, wait, I'm not sure. Does, um, do I have, do I have clerics do don't have bonus actions? Uh, do clerics okay. don't have, uh, clerics don't have multi attack. Ah, uh, wonderful. Anyway, that's gonna be that, um, for uh, that attack. And, hmm, is there a bonus action thing I can do? Moving the spiritual weapon, um, any other bonus actions, spells, or Oh, friends? yeah. I'll move it 20 more feet towards um, the dragon elf. Yeah, okay. Did I announce your time? And sorry, that'll be it. Yeah. 
It's the Dragonel. I gotta do my numbers now. Numbers are important to me. See, it can. So it moves to here. Which is 20 foot. And then it comes down in the process a further 40 foot to make it 20 foot high and kind of flapping its wings, almost like a helicopter coming down as the wind picks up around you there. Revel. Revel. Okay. Um, he's still far up. Great. So we're gonna take that. He's still. Love it. Yeah, we'll mess. Let's try that again. A two, oh, beautiful. I was like a chrono shift here, although it's not. A twenty-four will hit. A thirteen will miss. Uh, you want to re-roll the damage or take the damage? I'm gonna re-roll the damage. Two d four, please, sir. Five. One more, better than nothing. The other two kind of go up once more and create our little firework above it because we're here for the flavor. <laughs> Did I know your turn, man? Nope, that's it. All right. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. There. Getting sick of this. Like every time I move it, and I'm always bringing up my fucking browser part. Ugh. Uh, Exodus. Do I even gotta say it? Do I even gotta say it, Razor? Razor. It's Twenty oh, foot in the air. Oh. I walk up there now. Um, <laughs> yeah, this would suck if I if I hit it and then it flies away with Razor. That would that would be really that suck really bad. So I guess what it, what it though? <laughs> listen, don't you mock my baby. <laughs> you said it yourself. Um, I'll. What's the range on my dagger? 20 to 60 feet. You said it's 20 feet in the air. 20 feet in the air. I will throw one of my regular daggers at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see it. Oh, of course, I need to select myself again. Of course, how could I forget? It yep. would be a desk, but a nine misses in as you kind of just lob one up and just kind of... I guess the sun, man, you know, beating down hard. And it's really quite, you know, glossy all over. Also, you just came back from the precipice of death, you know? You didn't feel in 100%. We can forgive it. He, like, whiffs, he, like, whiffs a dagger at it, missing. He's like, come on! I'm <laughs> <laughs> And then he would, would run all the way around, so the only reasonable target would be Revel. <laughs> so, 30 feet. There's a lot of his enemies, am I right, guy? Bonus action dash. <laughs> Another 30 feet. Alright, now we're good. That's my turn. <laughs> Boralis will take the double longbow. 10, 12. Boralis. <laughs> Useless. I need to just fucking cast guarded aim on Boralis. Next. <laughs> Not. Oh, my turn already? Boralis, Boralis couldn't maybe? hit the broad side of a barn with a tank. <laughs> Let me see what okay. I can do for guarding. Excuse me, assisted aim. Yeah, I can do that. It's only a plus one, but I mean, shit. Uh, let's do this again. Just because I can't seem to use it. And, oops, how did I do that? First one gets a blink. I'm on 14 my... misses. Second one. You see how these days are fucked, man. 
can I? I'm gonna stop eight. using it. But every time you use it, you crit just after. <laughs> and you get it back. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna fire this off and rips a hole through the thing's wings. You're gonna watch as the blood is pouring down into the free fall spiral at this point. Maintaining some composure, but not a lot. Do anything else your turn? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Nope. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Clifton. Alright. I'm gonna fucking um I'm gonna use Oh, okay, it's my turn again. Okay. Um I'm going What the hell's going on? I'm just deleting the uh dead tokens. Oh my bad. Alright. Is there still a, dra a dragon that I can't see, or is there just one? Just the one, and it's the one that you can't see. Uh, 40 foot in front of you, 20 foot high. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna cast uh, Assist Dame. First level. I'm going to point at uh, Renard, Morales, and Exodus. Right, so, uh... I'm gonna say, let's pincushion this motherfucker. Uh, so... Oh, within only, range, hold on. Only Exodus is within range. Okay, only Exodus is within range, then I guess it's Exodus and me. You would need to move to here, and then you, uh, you'd still, okay, be, you'd still be out of range. you still be out of range of Renard on that. Oh, shit, yep. Only just. Um, uh, a little bit more movement. Uh, Who's there? Over here. Move here. Range of me. Got you. So, Renard and Morales. And that also gives you Exodus as well. So that's I, mean, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm in range for Exodus. Sorry, oh, I am. Okay, bet. I'll take it. Thank you so much for pointing that out. <laughs> I forgot I can move. All right, but let's finish this motherfucker. Plus uh, one's all attacks. And, yep, plus one all attacks <laughs> and double the range. I am. All right, and I'm going to move this uh, sword. Wait, hold on. Last turn, I asked if I could move it 20, 20 more feet towards the um towards the dragon O. Yep, I just forgot to change the two to uh, four. Oh, we changed the two to but but he he what wait was he was he twenty feet in the, was he still twenty feet in the air last turn? So he was forty. He moved to twenty. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to. Move it ever so closer to the dragon now. Just the threat of a sword looming over its head, I guess. So you're gonna move it ten foot over and then ten foot down? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, that does put you within range to actually use it to attack as well. Wonderful! I love when things work out. Love it when oh, a plan okay. comes together. Plus six, right? Uh, 1d20 plus 6, plus then 1d8 plus 3 for the attack. Alright. 19 hits. Alright. And 1d8. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop. It's, it's, it's got 1 health. You can't not kill it. I'm gonna roll anyway. <laughs> 11, 4, 8. That's max damage once again. Is he gonna kill it 11 fold over? Do you do it? It comes down and just. How long does that range thing last? I wonder if they can keep that. Uh, a oh, minute. one minute. Never mind. It's alright. As you come through the Dragon L dead, the overall dragon army that was here, the threat passed. The area now a absolute wasteland. Still the middle of the day still within your travel shall we say i'm gonna look to search the dragon army officer bodies see if they've got a map on them and where we're oh yeah going. i definitely want to do that <clears throat> um bum, 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 bum. roll me Roll me a d12. D12? Gotcha. Let me see, I'll see. You'll find a map. You, d12. So, Renard, you check them over. 
Yes, you do. You know what? That's on their map. They seem to be headed where you were coming from. As there's a small marking. On some rough looking islands of spires. Let me just get our map up and up in the right map. You see that they have notated something just down here. Say that one more time. They have notated something just down here and then I've circled it. Mm. The only thing on their maps? That's the only thing that they have notated on that one there. Is it maybe anything else that they have, be it a camped location or such, is entirely memory stored. Memory stored, memory based. Well, looks like we have to turn around, folks. Um, I'm only gonna adjust my pack and get ready to make the journey. I have a, I have rest. I just don't... oh oh you 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 people are hurt. Yeah. All of you gather round. Gather round. Get on the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F R I N T song. All right, where the hell is my uh, my? And you know, the here can here we go. Here's a sheet. Let's see what I can do for you guys. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say, as well as that, for everything else that you do have there, you know, you find that and also everything else that is already on the dragon army soldiers, lances, heavy crossbow, armor, um, I don't know, fucking tighty whities <laughs> 46. I'm going to cast, uh, 3. You know what? I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word. Ooh. If they have a shield, I'll take a shield. Yep. There is a... Oh, a fucking 11. There is shield. Can I grab a shield as well? Alright, does anybody yes. look a bit more hurt than that after I just casted that? Three shields. Uh... Right. You should have saved the spell because I'm, I'm at 18 now. Yeah, I still just need a short. Yeah, I was saying taking your rest would be more beneficial. We did our travel for today. Oh, we're done travel. Oh, okay. Oh, in that case, if we're going to be taking oh. a rest, I'm going to. Hmm? I don't think we're done traveling. He said it was still only 10. Did he? That it was early in the day still. I thought what you says? guys. I don't know if you wanted to keep going or uh, or take a, take a rest or not. I'm good for either way. It's ten down the bunk side, I know it's that, but you know, you have I have technically ran you through your entire days of travel. I'm just not gonna put this at the very end, you know. Oh, if we're taking the like like if we're getting to the point that we need to make camp or be exhausted, then yeah, let's take a camp for the night or for the day. You can always push through, but you always risk exhaustion every time you push through to a yeah, new day. Let's I think we should just take a long rest now and then fast fast travel towards the spire. Of dawn, the makeup for lost time. All right, since we're taking a long rest, I need to go check on my mother. Um, I'll be right back. I mean, it depends. What does everyone think? What is? What do you think, Reynard? Um, no. yeah, I think that's a good plan. I don't know what they're heading for there for, but there's nothing else on them to indicate. Just the map. What's that on the? Right. Right marked on the map. So, don't know why they're heading there, but I as well investigate it. We're close. Ish. Right. It could be the, the city of lost names. For all we know. For all we know. Although I think that sailors would know about it if it's on the coast, but mm -hmm. might, as well, we might as well look. Then, as we are all 
Speaking of artillery, does it? Uh, where the f fuck did I put this? I must just put it elsewhere. Uh, summons, summons. Yeah, I put it in summons. That's where they go. Go see it. Oh, so as you are taking this time to rest up with the camp, and say, you know, another long, tedious time. You just tell Darrett the ways of things. So he kind of nods on. Lessons, years. He's all have another long and almost paranoid night. The Dragon Army were close. I mean, you've only been travelling for what is essentially two days, but in those two days, you came across a small platoon more than anything there. As it were. Uh, well, RG's not here anymore. Uh, D10 from someone, please. Gotcha. Yeah, I've been rolling them lately, so someone else do it. <laughs> As you rise the next morn, the area isn't as bad as it was, it's dry. And it's arid. And as you look down in the thick channels that you saw, you realise that underneath the wash are numerous just remains of everything. People who have been caught up in the wash, trying their hardest, but for it, they failed. For day three of your journey, y'all said you were travelling at a fast pace to make up time. Yep. Um, I would like to do some stuff at night, if I could. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run us back a bit to the night. Um, one, we do this in whatever order. I would like to have a conversation with Black Razor. Uh, not Black Razor, just Razor. And then I would like to go hunting, because with this night, I would be out of rations. Okay. Then, I will say is we... Uh, we can do both in that regard. I gotta burn everyone rations. Nah. Yep. I should be out. Come down. Is you? Uh, <sighs> You, you, make, you make yourself you make presents know that you have to do this to go out hunting and everyone is agreement there. So you or dance doll. Go Why out. Are you People remind you to stay safe. You head out all you head out into the you head out into the wash. Is it slowly coming down now? Now it's about maybe between ten and five foot in certain places. As you're walking through the night, uh, it will require a survival check from you. All of us? Uh, no, just uh, Exodus. Exodus be hunting. Alright, survival. 12. As you are passing through, walking through, getting to grips of the land, taking your time. You pass by thick parts of the wash, looking through, feeling, you feel all manner of sea creature pass by you, pass by your feet. You hear all manner of noise from what could be animals, may also be draconians or dragon elves, it's hard to tell. Mm. Um, I should have thought about this before, but if there is a source of water nearby where we are currently, I do have that fishing rod that I asked for. Yep, survival check would be part of that. So you're gonna All right. recast on out. 
you just kind of sit there, feet dangling over one of these large cliff face what? edges, just looking on it. Off in the distance, you see a very light fire, you know, to be the fire of the camp. Just really and fishing away for the most part. Give me uh, another survival check. Oh. So start casting off and pulling in and reeling in and rebaiting, whatever it is. There is something in there that manages to take the bait without ever getting caught. You spend a bit of time trying to get this thing. You feel the more you cast off the bigger and bigger a waste it is. Yes. Eventually, after about an hour, you manage to catch yourself a small squid. Would make about a day's worth of ration. Yeah, that's 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 more than fair. That's more than I would have gave someone with a two, thank you. Um you take the squid and return back to camp with uh, a day's rations to prepare. He would, you know, do what he needs to salt and kill the fish properly for storage. Just not for long storage because it'll be his meal tomorrow. But yeah, um, uh, if he does have a private moment alone, though, he would speak mentally and he would say, "What was I supposed to call you again? What is your name?" Master, you can call me Master. Ooh, I already called someone else Master, but I guess I can have two Masters. It's fine. But daddy, call me Daddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Let's say. You want me to do as much killing as possible, correct? Yes. And no. What's the no part? There is something close. I must have it. What is it? A wretched being. Being of limited power, small, but not from here. Kill it and its kin. The wretched, the lost, the lonely, the hungry, the angry. Kill them. I'll try to keep in mind exactly what you mean, because you want to be vague with me. They are um, out there. is home. Mm. I'll do what you say. Um, just try to keep it easy on me, okay? Just fuck. I think it's quite hard to kill things. That that would be it. You, you would just make his, you know, his minor complaint of you make it quite hard for me to actually kill things with disadvantage for striking at other things and not being able to use all my ability with that weapon. It's like you it's like you counterproductive, man. Just work together. Um, but no, that that would be it. Then is the day passes on through the wash dry. You feel almost lucky given that you caught something last night, as it is all dried up now. But the sky above is as bright. You see as 
thick black clouds seem to roll in once more from the north and from the eastern sea. As the army seem to be taking their time around as Darrett comes. We'll lag behind about a mile once more. Um, you sure you want to head back the way? We, we, we came from there. Sure, sure that's the right move? Oh, what's happening? Direct question of whether going back is the right move, is that where you came from? That, whatever they circled is most likely camp, I'm guessing, or their next target. Mm. Either way, well, might as well find out. We're not really walking the other way for any particular reason. We just know he went this way. We don't know where he is in this land. So he being... Understandable. We, we'll stay behind at least a mile regardless. And if anything happens, we'll... Uh, I, I guess you'll know if something happens. Um, but yeah. We have the... And kind of holds it up and pushes the button. He's going to hear the... <coughs> on the, the back of the person with the far gap. Just in case. You're right. So I'll... See you soon. Or not. I don't quite know. Well, let's hope. Let's get moving. And just head on out at a fast pace, making a 15 mile day. So you are here. Are you going through or are you going over? Through, I guess. Are you going through the, the gullies? Are you going through the gullies that have been flooded to the past two days, or are you walking over them as much as possible? <clears throat> are they currently flooded? I thought you said they drained. Yeah, but they've been flooded the past two days. Now they're drained. I feel we should not risk it. Um, if we need to rest, we'd be resting in the gully. And then, if the tide comes at night, we might be flushed out. Um, if we go above, uh, we'll have to bridge a gap, likely, to get to where we need to go, but we can cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> so, I guess we're uh, staying on top the best we can. Yep, okay. Yep. Then... <laughs> 15 miles, 6, 12, 6 miles here is Morales kind of looks round and asks if anyone would like him to do the looking around today or if someone else would like to. Well, I'm not good at stuff like that, so. Yeah, no, fuck it. It's him. He's him. He's literally him. a look as he does he spent most of the day you know, walking through it is a fast day in that regard as you saw her walking I need a d4 from someone the fastest fingers in the west it is a 4 I'm going to request another d4 so that's good. And the editor, he said, I'm going to request that never do for and look directly at me. <laughs> Rard, yeah. That. This is our what happened? walking through. You eventually come to this one particular area. You have to slouch back down for a little bit to come to the little crack and crevice and as you do is watch listen 
before you know it. These are making your efforts known. You then hear what? And I am gonna request you to roll initiative. Okay. I wasn't putting you back in the same one. That's why I asked for a re-roll because I don't feel I don't feel it nice to give you that. I'll just have another few dragon L for the sake of it. Uh, is this the right one? This is not the right one. Is this the right one? This is not the right one. I have so many of these that are just named the same thing because of course they are. This one here is supposed to be. Um, there is no. Yep, don't worry. Um, I need to find the right one. That ain't it. That ain't it. I really should have named these, but you know how that way I don't think about these things. Blame me later. Um, damn it, that would have been a good one I used to. Okay. Uh, in that case then. Boom, boom, bow. So, uh, you are surprised, but not surprised as in you get another round. You are surprised as in, oh my god, what is happening? You know, didn't see this coming. And that was a two, correct? Yeah? It was a two, correct. Uh -huh. And then... And not there, not visible. They should be done like that. Sweet. And then you should be able to roll into an initiative once more. I once again got to play Boralus. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Did we get a long rest stop? I bet over that period. Yeah. Yeah. You. You did. I forgot to do that. That's right. It happens. As well as it happens to be that time. Oh, where's my. There it is. And I hope to pray that we get a bit better on this one than we did last time. I got my measuring tape. I too got my measuring tape. I don't. I lied. <laughs> Let's see yep, if we all wanna now just uh beam bidi beam beam. Crap. In the dumbest way possible, I have done the wrong type of walls here as well because I am smart. I think we'll be waiting in RG anyway, so you know. Uh very quickly just go ahead and draw some walling on here that is actually smart uh RJ I guess I'm putting the cleric as well, guys. Mm. Hey, hey, right. Boom, 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 walls. And uh, Boralus. Oh, it's, it's, it's already an average encounter with just used to. That's going to be easy. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, is that what you're saying? That's what I'm assuming. Rebel got a 9? I mean, I got a nat 1 on the initiative. That sucks. Boralus up here with the numbers. A little bit of fighting going on there because, you know, nothing's ever peaceful in these games. Stop the desert sound. And move it straight into combat with Boralus. Who. Be using token vision, that's why shit ain't working right. And then globally eliminate as well. 
And now these oh. walls should work well. There we go. Walls work well for all of us. Baralis, we'll take a look at the Dragon Army Soldier there in front of him. Uh, Baralis should actually have got some arrows back as well, which I'm going to quickly... Uh, how many did he fucking fire? Christ almighty. Um, give me 15. Cool. Let's take a look at the Dragon Army Soldier just right here. As he also notes one of these fuckers. As the PTSD kicks in. Y'all know what you're looking at. He's going to take a look at that one there. He's going to give him the old one, two, three. Uh, not with a 12, he's not. Maybe with a 15, he's not. And with a 21 for 9, he finally is. If I were him, I would probably have given it my day job by now, but you know. Uh, God loves a char or a trier. Clifton will be giving it the oh my god, my days are getting longer and there's no turning back. We're working 9 to 5. Uh, probably should have done those spells again, Matthew. Yes, you should have, Matthew. A soul and a spirit guardians, but it's just going to go horribly wrong. I'm just going to spiritual weapon instead. A spiritual weapon on the guy down there. 25 for 10 will smack a bitch up. Followed by a toll the dead, because Clifton knows what he's doing. Put another 4 damage. He's going to fire us off. It's spin ding. You watch as he hits the deck like a fucking deck chair. Renard. Mm hmm. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. I have no idea what that thing over there is. That. Well, I'm not going to bother with him. I'm going to allow him. Oh! Do this thing that I never seems to work out for me. And do... I'm going to pretend I know what you've done there. Ah. Hey, it worked that time. He's going to fire that off and he's right in there. Second one, however, misses. Oh, yeah, 1d8. Additional d8 damage, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I'm remembering stuff. Seven, that's some you fucking are. good damage, mate. <laughs> nah, he's he's going to fire. He, that is a crippling shot. He does not look good already from that one there. Did I know it's your turn? Um, nope. Okay. You watch. Is this weird, ugly looking fucking creature seems to just sprint round making this. Alright, so guys, the it says that the movement here is in inches. Um it's still in fives, so you have um you you essentially have 30 inches of movement. Uh, it's more than average. More than average. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this little fucker is gonna move. Um, he's gonna move thirty inches, thirty-five inches, kind of swinging around here. So everyone's gonna really confused and scared as what this little fucker is. We're gonna just snags a bite at the dragon on me. Um, it, however, does absolutely nada to it. Mess with Exodus. You I feel I actually know what those things are. The sea captain showed me a drawing of them. If I recall correctly, Dean. <laughs> that they were drawn to the blade. You seem to um, run in fear, though. I'm trying to get away from you whilst... Oh, I you can't really see much else. Oh, there's a lot more of them. Stand drawer. You Top one. one. Seems to be getting closer to something similar to it. Oh, so I'll bonus action dash. Yeah. Get me right here. Yeah. I will use razor. Yeah. Because it thirsts for the souls. A ten does not hit. It thirsts, but it don't thirst hard enough. Yeah, it's a fucking thirst trap. And then I'll duck behind this rock backwards with the yep. rest of my movement. And that'll be my turn. Kill. Rebel. Um, you hear one the sense. Huh? 
Also ich kann das Bier nicht werfen, dass sie das sind. Okay. Ähm. Let's, äh. Let's see the sounds, why not? See. The weird little creature, the humanoid, kind of ducking away from this huge silver draconian. That's cool. Um. That's one of them guys that killed me, I think. That's one of them guys that killed you, you're right. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Uh, right there. Oh, baby, a fucking cripple. Uh, so let's see. Fail. Uh, yep, and then we go to this fucker. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it, he passes. Who passes? St the little guy still dies, but passes. The <laughs> draconian. A uh, fucking straight fail. Like that. The little guy. Uh, he. These things are so dexterous, but it doesn't matter because the fireball just fucking outright kills them. Okay. And then the last guy, seventeen, he passes as well. Uh, you gonna... <laughs> Exodus, you watch as this fireball raises. You hear it in your head. No. <laughs> You feel seething, burning hatred and anger all at once. Revel, you done anything else with your turn? No, that's it. Yeah, he's Actually, a shout. Oh, sorry, go on. No, you're good. I was just gonna say, he's a shout. No, that was mine. It's just corny, that's and you watch as it takes. <clears throat> It's serrated sword out. You watch as each and every tooth catches just the faintest glimmer of light as the wings <laughs> unfurl. As it does, it sprints through with such ferocious speed. Up five. And then towards this way. Now, I'm just going to angle it in such a way that I'm not landing on anyone here. You're gonna down full 60 foot of movement. And the sword comes out once more. I need to remember what this one does. Ah! Then it takes that serrated edge. Yeah, leans right in. That hurt. And then proceeds to slice at yourself like you are. In fact, a loaf of bread. Uh, misses on the first one. Hits on the second one. You have a 17 AC. My guy, you ain't proficient in shields. I'm not proficient in shields. I have to be proficient in shields to use them? Yes. Yeah. this. Else, okay. else you can't cast spells because it's classed as armor. Shields have their own no, I, it's really I, weird. I can I can cast spells using a shield. War, war, Warcaster lets me do that. Warcaster lets you do that, yeah. But you still need to be proficient with shields with shields to gain their their bonuses. Okay. Um I'm uh, I'm unequip that. My AC without it is fifteen. The first attack still misses. The, se the second one was a nat 20. So, like. Uh, bum 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 for 80. If you find a ruling that says different about it, just you know, put it through there. But to my knowledge, you need to be proficient with shield to gain the benefit of Warcaster as well. I didn't know that you needed to be proficient. I don't think shield proficiency was a thing. Yeah, no, uh, certain only certain classes get it. Like, I have shield proficiency because of Hexblade. Like even, like, even the fighter doesn't have something called shield proficiency. Uh, yes it does. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it does. That's weird. All armor shields. All armor, yeah. comma, shields. It's right there. That's weird. 
It's one of those ones you don't notice until it gets brought up. Don't worry, like... I thought everyone could use shields as well until I saw it one day. Shield proficiency, I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I'm learning it. I just need, like, one more week of downtime to actually get it. It's true. One or, or two. I don't know which one it was. I've got it written down. We'll get it by the end of the session, don't worry. Uh, Draconian will then take its tail and whack Baralis in the booty. That is a nat one. The dice gods giveth and the dice gods taketh away. Uh, speaking of things that they give and take, um, I have a bad guy somewhere. I love it whenever this happens. This guy will move an adequate and above average 50 inches. And as he does, will take two attacks against Exodus. Uh, those both hit. A 22 for 14 and a 17 for 10. Yeah, that, that'd do good. Okay. Then... I was... I don't know, I don't know, I was expecting shield or something. Give me time for that reaction. Oh, my dumbass. I should have done that, but, you know, I didn't think about it. That's right. You know, for next time, is the guy back here. Ah, he has a javelin in hand. And as he does, he's gonna... Starts Olympic Sprinter running down this field. And as he does, this would still be at disadvantage even after that. Just launches the javelin towards Clifton. Yeah, it's a seven. That ain't hitting nothing. See, Dragon Army Soldier, you're going to see what's happened. Just, at this point, trying to get the fuck out of there. Fuck knows what those little things are. He don't want no... He, he doesn't want any of that. You dash right by me. Up. Yep, full dash. You can take it if you want. Absolutely. <coughs> Mills. And this. Baralis. Uh, oh. Baralis will thank you for your help and try to assist where he can. That's nat 20. There we go. See? See? Baralis can be good sometimes. Kind of fires that off and kills that one. We're going to turn it to the one that threw the javelin and watch him fail. A 13. See, what did that say? <clears throat> Clifton will take his spiritual weapon because I'm I'm playing RG again now. Uh, that's about 20 foot. That's about 20 foot. Um, mm, but can't do it there. So we're going to go here to help out our good friend uh, Exodus, 1d20 plus 6 for the attack to make a 21, which is beautiful and then 1d8 plus 3 the damage for 6 force damage and then he'll look at the one behind him and uh, pull the dead And it fails, taking six necrotic damage. And then speedy expedition to Redard. Oh, oh, I don't need to see one person and then the... Oops. Move around him. You know what I meant. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I'm going to use it until it works. I used it last time it worked. Very nice. Yeah. And I did it again. 17 just hits for 9, 10, 11, 25. Um, yeah. Straight kill it. Uh, it died on the first one. But I don't think nope. you have the movement to get to the second one, so. Nope. Do you gonna. Bring that in and out and fuck them up. Uh, did anything else your turn? Uh, nope. Okay. Exodus. Exodus has gone into a rage. 
Um, Plus two old damage. <laughs> he grabs a hold of his necklace, uh, saying the words, run, and then breaking out into a haste. Also, DM, you accidentally equipped the shield when you gave it to me. Oh, that was just a uh, straight normal. Yep, sorry. Yep, uh, yeah. just assume that everything else had a negative two. Um, it automatically equipped when I imported it. I do apologize. No, no, you're good. I was just letting you know. I don't. I didn't know how to unequip it. Uh, right click and then unequip. Uh, equip, unequip. I'll unequip uh, it for it. My bad. Um, I will then be moving, moving downtown. Thirty. Let's get forty, and then I'm giving it the what for? You're busting haste. I did. Yeah, it, I busted it just, haste. It just didn't come up in the chat, so. Oh, you know what? I didn't click it. But you know what? Let me click it just Got to it. be Don't official. Worry. Don't worry, I am All right. with you. And I will use Razor. 19. 19 does hit. Sweet. Oh, I rolled, I think, See? close to max with the sneak attack. Yeah, close to max. Uh, a 6 and a 4. Yeah, so in total, 15, 15 damage. damage. And then I'm using the last bit of my movement. To get just out of view. Wait, I'll use bonus action dash to get all the way back to Renard. And that is my turn. Haste is a great spell. Oh, yeah. Rebel. Such so on a rogue. It's amazing. Is it not a total asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Jalen. I'm here. I'm just trying to find my phone. Ah. Big Sivak stands in front of you. Yeah. There is one of those in front of me. His name is Jim, but on the oh. weekends you can call him Shirley for 10 gold pieces. Um. What we're going to do is... Tasha's was that a wisdom and then bonus action fails lovely bonus action dragon's breath okay oh you can't take actions or reactions okay and crawl and less stands creatures disadvantage and attack rolls um, so yeah, uh, nothing really changes her. Still fucking fails oh, on a two. Is you gonna fire that off? Uh, wanna roll me 3d6 there, mate? Yes, I do. Nine. I'm gonna lay waste to the area. Wait. Mm. What, uh, what did you pick, by the way? Uh, acid. Yeah, I'm just gonna. All right. Oh. Okay, so you can't. I can't. Both of those are actions. So I've just clocked that Tasha's is an action, and Dragon's and... Breath is an action, and they're also both concentration. No. Oh, I'll, so I'll hold it until the next turn. No, bro. Get out of here, bro. So yeah, no. you use that as a net. So uh, here's the thing. You touch one willing creature, power in mid, but until the spell ends, the creature can use its action to exhale. So you're using your action to give yourself that power to then use your action to throw up on it. Yeah, okay. No, I'll, I'll give it to Clifton instead. <laughs> Actually, who, who's after me in an issue? Uh, Baralis. I'll give it to Baralis. Alright, but what about the Tasha's then? No Tasha's? Why can't I do Tasha's? They're both concentration spells. They're both concentration oh. spells! Yeah. Oh god, I hate that. Why is that a concentration spell? Okay, um, no, no Dragon's Breath. Forget Dragon's Breath. Alright. Uh, you're still prone and incapacitated, laughing and draconic. Did I announce your term? <laughs> laughing in Spanish. 
<laughs> no, we're, we're good. Alright, uh, then the survive. I really can't do anything else but make that wisdom saving throw again. Still can't do anything but laugh his silly little head off. The soldier. What? Failed to save. <laughs> huh? Soldier takes 30 inches. Why, why is this in inches? I'll never understand. What did I do to fuck this up so bad? Uh, Renard, 23 and a 20. What are you talking about? Sorry. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 total damage. Jean Baralis. Uh, Baralis gonna once again drop that bow and proceed to smack. As he does, the Savak Draconian falls to its death. Baralis comes running in, thinking he's the best thing since sliced bread. He proceeds to swing at this guy here, and cocky as he is, he misses. Hello? Hello, hi. Oh, um, just in time. Just in time to finish this combat. What are we up against? Uh, it was a Sivak Draconian and five Dragon Army Warriors. Um, there's now just one Dragon Army soldier. Just standing over here in the dark. I'm going to move over here. Uh, oh, also you've got there. Spiritual Weapon out as well. Again, because Spiritual Weapon, best I weapon. Don't at me. I was wondering how I was using a spiritual weapon if I couldn't see you. You could at the time. Oh, I could. Okay. No, like, oh no, like I, like I was. Sorry, I, I phrased that incompletely. I was, I was, I was. I, I had assumed I had been over to see at some point, and um, now I wasn't. So I moved, and it, it, it was a lot going on at once. I didn't convey, convey it all. I'm sorry. Right. There was a lot of thoughts going on all at once, and I didn't like summarize properly. Um, but, but but let me let me do a little some, little some some. Uh, move the spiritual weapon within range. Yeah, I, I believe, and uh, roll that attack. Undo twenty Five, plus six. six. Messes, I'm afraid. I don't think that would hit a mouse. I don't think uh, it would. Let's see what I could do. Uh, you get an action now. All right. You know what? Um, what is that range? Uh, it's fifteen. Okay, it's a target. Okay, so holy word. Holy da! That seventeen will actually hit for four radiant. Um, Don't announce your turn, my guy? Yeah, that's gonna be about it. Okay. Don't know why I'm still with the before, draconian she up, he's dead. Before I do anything, no, before I do anything else, nobody's dead, right? Nobody's dead. No, this. Okay. Uh, Re Revel managed to get a fireball off pretty fucking quickly. So, everyone's good. Um, Renard. Well, <clears throat> he's just standing there, so let's see what we can do with him. 24, uh, 20 and 19, both are hits here. 11, 12, 19, 20. Fuck, that's some good damage. She's gonna bring it in and slaughter this guy, bringing it down and just. Cattle, my friend. Cattle. So, what are you? Hmm. Cattle. In this particular. fight. In the desert, the rain coming down so lightly. The warriors make your way, following through, passing by all of your little areas that you came to initially as well. For the most part, here you finish up. Your day just about here. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I wanted to check bodies. Yeah, no, you can do uh, that too. Uh, yeah, we yeah, run that, but this is just at this point the end of day travel. Uh, if you want to check bods, you want to run me a 
um, ba -ba -ba bonus remain investigation or sleight of hand check, whichever one you would like. Gotcha. Well said. Coming at you. As soon as Sonic speed. Wow. Uh, investigation. Oh, damn, boy. You find upon these particular bodies you about 50 gold between them and a nice black velvet mask stitched with a silver thread. How it got there you'll never understand. But it is a elegant piece of attire. And I need to find your sheet there it is. <laughs> is that a gimp mask? I've always wanted a gimp mask. Most definitely is. The dragon was into some weird stuff, man. I said, put 10 gold on a weekend. <sighs> yeah. As it were, the night is coming in. You could keep going or rest up. How do you switch to play? Hmm. I think we should keep going, right? Because then we could be pushed to about here, right? Or like around here, so that we would get to rest before we get into this territory, you know? Because I think that this territory over here, we don't know. We just know that the dragon people are headed this way. But up until that point, I feel like we would be relatively safer. Does that make sense to anyone? Uh, it does make sense. Sure. <clears throat> I'm all for pushing through. Okay, yeah, then that makes Day three, so I get two. I get three for push through. That's a majority vote. Uh, so that there is D three. <laughs> I I once more at night go fishing. <laughs> you're not resting. I just roll a single. You're, what? You're not resting. Oh, you're right. We're just pushing through, right? Yeah, yeah never mind then. Any concepts from everyone? Oh no, this if it ain't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> hmm. Kim, Kim, Kim. Uh, we'll go to our boy here who will kill. Oh, that was his check. Only 16s? It says save this. Yeah, his save is exactly the same, plus one. I think the only person Please. with a big change is probably going to be Clifton. No. Still a plus one on here as well. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Let's use Clifton to go on through the night. Clifton, we roll back. You can't, no. Just push on through the night. You just go through at a fast pace, correct? Yep. Yep. Um, would you 10? I was about to say, yeah. You were going to say what? You I was going to say, if we're approaching the area around the Spires of Dawn, I think we should maybe slow down a bit, but... Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> um, a normal pace gets you to roughly the same area. Like, the difference is, the difference is three miles in travel, um, so, like, you're still within the same hex, regardless. Alright, what's the difference between a fast and normal travel? Uh... Negative five penalty to passive wisdom on the group and all uh, all wisdom based checks. I I would vote for a normal pace given that um, we need to keep our eyes out once we get to this area. And it's about the same, three miles off. Thank you. Yep. Smart move. Okay. And a D ten, please.
Crit. All right, I'll roll it. Oh, I was oh, just no, waiting to be. Fl- I rolled previously. <laughs> I felt rude. Roll again. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know right now. The D10 is just for whether or not it's flooded. And uh, oh. on a two. No. Flooded or fuck. It's oh. still dry, despite the rain coming down all through the night as you pass on through. It's not nearly right heavy enough. It's not nearly heavy enough to pass yes. through floodings. Yeah, I dropped my phone. Does it were, however? Okay, it's okay. You get closer to this particular area. As it does, you look around for it. I now need another D10. Alright, uh, I'll roll this one. You know what? Nope. Okay, never mind. Fuck it. Sex. Sex. <laughs> Sex is you going through watching and listening, taking your time. Um. Well, here's yeah, the fine. here's the uh, consequences of your actions. Clifton and Revel, level one exhaustion. Love it. Everyone else, uh, not so much. These are good. What's so, level one exhaustion again? Uh, just disadvantage on all ability checks. Ain't that amazing? So, uh, LVL1 dis on Revel plus Cliff. So, where are you? Passing by, you once more hear wings beating. However, these are not the wings that you have heard before. No, 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 no. These are different wings entirely. They don't beat with the same malice. They don't have the same crashing. Instead, they have this odd cackle to them. Now, I need to ask, are you in the trench or out of the trench? In the trench. Uh... The trench is like, let's say, there's cliffs around it? Yeah, the trenches are basically where there has been flooding. Right, is this where we'd be resting for the night? Uh, You didn't rest in the trench. However, if you had rested, you would have rested in the trench. Alright, I was about to say, if we're about to rest... Um... And that's where you asked. I would say we rest inside of the trench, maybe. Just because then we it might be harder for uh, dragons to see us from above. Let's see as you are walking oh. through this area. Uh, all in favor of being in the trench, say aye. 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 RJ? Take that as an aye. These are in this trench. You start seeing waste and disgust. Bones picked fresh, clean. You hear this snarling and laughing. The beating of wings. The ripping of flesh. The crunching of bone. You turn a corner. As you do. This is like, by the way, just so you, this is basically what Tomb of Annihilation is going to be like. Um, you see the rotting carcass of a whale. And on it, you see... Two of these with the looming shadow over the trench and there's a rip apart the flesh of a whale. Look at look at look at What's that? Let me it. Let's, let's put a pause to it tonight because it's rolling on midnight here and it's been about three and a half hours. Oh as always had a great time. So excited. Uh, I'll see you guys next Monday. You Next month we'll be able to start earlier as well uh, because I uh, seem I'm an earlier shift finish.
All right. Yeah, let's finish there. Yep. Hey, Jalen.